Hey, uh, so I meant to do this yesterday. Um, oh, too loud. All right, so I meant to do this yesterday. Uh, can we, uh, if if I don't do this every single stream from now on, can someone remind me to do it? Because uh, it just saves me some time. Uh, so I want to do um, a chat calibration. So I when I put chat onto the the videos that go up on YouTube, I should have been doing this all along. I had this idea like months and months and months ago. And then with uh, stream breaks and everything, I just didn't do it. So I want to do like a chat calibration so I can always match it up. So um, can you guys just, I'll, I'll say an emote and can you guys just spam it for like 10 seconds and then I know for sure that's in the area. So can you guys just all spam pickles? Pickles, pickles, pickles. Cool, that should be good enough. All right, thanks. We'll just pick an emote every day and that'll just be like the, the chat calibration. So now I know when all the pickles appear, that's why I said spam pickles and then the chat will be aligned for the whole thing. The new old near game got a date today. Are you going to play it? Eh, I don't know. Maybe we'll stream it. I'm not really interested in the near series. Sorry, like they look really weird to me. I don't know if I would enjoy them or not. Like maybe people are pretty fanatical about it, so I should try it and see if I can be one of those people. But you know, the thing is, if I don't like it, then it's just going to be kind of, kind of meh. New near, like the remake to uh, one of the first nears, I think. Near replicant or whatever. You liked the Tomita, right? Yeah, I liked it. Um, I don't think I loved it though. The gameplay was just kind of eh. But I didn't play it on hard mode, and I was still learning how to stream, so I probably didn't play it properly. So I can't really judge the gameplay of Tomita without uh, playing it all the way through by myself. Is the gameplay of the older Nier's good? I've heard it's bad. That people like it for the for the story or experience or whatever. I don't know. Stop saying near games, there's only one other near game. Isn't Drakengard in the same universe? Isn't it the same kind of thing? Like, I barely even know the games, and I know that.
All right, Wikipedia near series games near near Dragon Guard near Life Experience near Automata near Pillow Fight near Dream Drop Distance near Burrito Bonanza. Like there's so many of them near uh, Gold and Silver. <sighs> Alright, should we talk about what happened yesterday? I don't know if we should or not. Should we just pretend that it didn't happen? With the, uh, with the, the pearl thing? It's gonna happen again today, isn't it? I don't know. The sort of thing is out of my area. I don't. I don't know how to properly, properly judge this. Like, first of all, like I know very little about anime. I know very little about Japanese culture, and on top of that, when it comes to um, sexualized characters and stuff, I, I, I'm not. What would even be the correct person to to be able to judge that properly? Would it be a, a sociologist? I don't know. Like, uh, that's out of my area too. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, there have been times on stream where I've criticized the depiction of, of women uh, for being too sexualized. And sometimes I think I'm on the mark, but other times people people really disagree with me. Like, I think that... I think there's a difference between, between sexy and sexualized. Like, Chadworth is, is a sexy character, but I don't think he's sexualized. Whereas... Mia, I don't think is a sexy character, but she's sexualized. Like the, that's the the their opposites. Like um, Angel Star is a sexy character, uh, and she's also sexualized. I don't know. I don't know if she is sexualized or not, but she's definitely a sexy character. Whereas Mia is like, she doesn't act sexy at all, but she's still hypersexualized, like fucking tits out for Harambe, and the fact that they that they made a child transform into that character makes it just so adjacent to sexualizing an eight-year-old so because of that it makes me very uncomfortable and i don't like it whereas if if mia sorry if pearl transformed let's say maya was dead and if pearl transformed into maya in that moment and she just got a little taller and her hair color changed and she's still wearing the robe in the exact same way i i don't think i would have had a problem with it i think it would have been all right um, I, I don't know though. I don't know for sure. I think it would have been fine. I, I don't, I don't think it's, it's the, I don't think it's the age thing that's the problem. I think it's the fact that the, it's the sexualization of it that's the issue for me. I don't know though. I'm not sure. Like, and then the fact that they double down and comments it on the clothes as well. It's like, it's like, it's just not only, it's like, hey, this is what we're doing. And here's a line of dialogue that's 100% confirming that's intentional. And we even knew about it and we still did it anyway. Fuck you. So I don't know. Like, I, th I think that. There's a difference between sexy and sexualized, but I haven't really thought about this all that much. Like, Bayonetta, Bayonetta is a sexy character who is also sexualized. She's both. So because she is a sexy character and she seems like... she She's like a, a willing participant of it, but I think that's just, just sexy. Like, she's just sexy. She's sexy and sexualized, whereas Mia is just sexualized. And I think that's a problem with a lot of characters in video games where they're just sexualized but not sexy to go along with it, so it seems forced and just feels like fan service. But I don't know. Like, 2B in Nier Automata is, is a sexy character, and the first time that you ever see her, she's sexualized because it's an upskirt, upskirt shot. That's the first time you ever see her is with an upskirt shot. And throughout the rest of the game, she's not really sexualized at all after that, I don't think. Like, you can if you go out of your way to do it, but maybe I'm misremembering some parts of, uh, of, uh, of Automata. But, like, she's a sexy character, but she's not really that sexualized to me. So, I don't know. Like, I had a problem with 2B at the start when we first played it. And now I look back and 2B's really fucking tame to me compared to the shit that we've happened since then. But m maybe it's just because she's introduced with a fucking upskirt shot. Which may be accidental, or maybe like, who cares? This is just like some cool, powerful pose. I don't know.
there's a point to TB being, TB being sexy. Yeah, that's true too. I didn't want to say that or get into it because um, I don't remember all the details and that, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, but not really. But yeah, there, there is also a point to TB being sexy. What about on Takaka Takamaki? Who? On Takamaki. I have no idea who this is. I don't know about on like. She's a model, like, she is a sexy character, but she, I, I feel like maybe, even though she's a model, I, I kind of feel like she's she's in the Mia area. She's sexualized more than she is sexy. I don't know, like, there's that, that uh, swimsuit scene and her, like, latex outfit and everything with the fucking, like, strategically placed zippers that they went out of their way, like, yeah, I don't know, I kind of feel like even though she's a model, I don't think Anne really acts all that sexy. So I, th I feel like she's across the line, but still pretty tame compared to a lot of the other things that, that we've seen. I don't know. Look, I just want to make it clear, there's, there's nothing really wrong with a character being sexualized or a character being sexy. I've, I think I would prefer to match that a sexy character is being sexualized because it seems like it's more it's more in line. And I do think that sexualized characters have, have their place. Um, like, especially male characters, I feel like their gaming especially is, is afraid to sexualize its, its male characters, but... That's what I mean, it's not my area. Like, again, I'm not sure if it's sociology, what it would be, but it's... Uh, it's not my expertise, so I don't know where the line is. Of course, kids kids are across. Of course, like that goes without saying. I'm I'm not even talking about uh, Pearl at any point now. Geralt is sexualized. I agree with that. Yeah, I think Geralt is sexualized. Nah, is Geralt sexualized? I don't think Geralt is sexualized. I think I think Geralt Geralt is sexy. I don't think Geralt is sexualized. I think the amount of amount of sexualization that happens with Geralt is 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 appropriate. I think I think that's in line with it. Geralt's, like, fucking hot in Witcher 3, man. Like, I have a line about that. There's a joke in the Witcher 3 video about how about how he's he, he gets hotter in every entry. You know? And here's some spoilers for the video. Like, in, in Witcher 1, he looks like a walking fucking corpse. In Witcher 2, he, he looks kind of kind of off, but, you know, he's, he's definitely been upgraded. In Witcher 3, he's, like, Danger Dilf 9000. And then in the Witcher Netflix series, he's the hottest man in the world. You know, like... That, that's how it is. That's the joke. There you go. There's a part of that joke I'm, I'm leaving out. But yeah, like he's he's like, like he's ridiculously attractive in Witcher 3. Given that characters are created with intent, can you argue that creating a sexy character is form of sexualization? Yeah, I, I was hoping no one would ask that question because that's the whole can of worms. Yeah, like like no no character exists in a vacuum. So the fact that the character is being made to be sexy is is a form of sexualization at the same time because it didn't have to be. But like if it fits, then I think it's fine. Like again, there's nothing really wrong with a sexy character. Don't don't be sorry. It's it's a legitimate question. It's like there's nothing wrong with a sexy character and. In fact, I think that Western media especially should embrace more sexy characters and, and, and sex shouldn't be as taboo. Or, 
Okay, I don't know. I don't know if we need if we need more sex or less violence, but I just I fucking hate that we can have all these shows that show like like brutal violence and murder and and sometimes even gore. Like the shit that happens in like like Hannibal, like like oh my god, I can't believe that they got away with that shit, but oh my god, we can't show a nipple. Oh no, we can't say the F word, but here's like a skinned alive body with like their lungs draped out like like angel wings you know what i mean like it's ridiculous the amount of shit that we can that they can get away with as long as it's violence and gore but you know you can't say the bad words and you you can't show anything to do with sex either like i don't know Anyway, let's move on. We could talk about this for hours. Let's move on. Anyway, I just wanted to give my thoughts a little bit more about how I think about these things and also to clarify that I don't think I'm an expert or qualified to say much about anything when it comes to this, but like I still have opinions. I'm still going to have reactions to it. And but I just I don't claim to always have the right ones. I think I'm pretty right on when it comes to 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 what happened with with Pearl, but like like when it comes to the, some of the other characters like i don't know i don't know maybe i'm being too prudish judging mia it's just you know <sighs> boob lawyer doesn't really feel like it fits to me and it doesn't really fit her character either but yeah let's let's go on just we live in a society all right so here is some fan art we have beefy gamer dragon like god damn this is by Deer. Thank you, deer. You're a deer. Thank you, deer. So we have a bit more fan art than usual to show because uh, it's um, from two days. So thank you, deer. This, this dra dragon just chugs some coffee, I think. Do, do, do. So this one is from uh, Press Presses or Presses? Press is? I'm not sure if there should be a gap there. Uh, 11,035 shots, 11,036 shots, the count. Have I ever been this bored during during a trial? And then we look up and then <laughs> the, the, the creepy confetti goblin. Like, shh. Tell them you're a lawyer. Confetti core. Where's yeah? Now we know where the confetti comes from. The creepy uh, confetti goblin. Thank you, presses. Little dragon. Oh, there's a video. I don't think I can play it. I'd have to double check again. Sorry, spineless coward. That'll have to be for tomorrow. If if you were here earlier and you you might have heard it go. There you go, waifu alert. I'll show that tomorrow. I should have got prepared, sorry. Alright, so this is from uh, Zerstorin HV. Am I saying your name right, by the way? Zerstorin? I must be Zerstorin. Come on, Phoenix, I'll show you the rest of Medium Valley. Do what is this? Malefic? Malefic? It's malefic, not malefic. Malefic feeling. Gorsh. <laughs> Johnson, the bushes leave. 
I tell you what, Bobby, gosh darn it. Peeking out, phew. Hi, I'm Eeny Meeny, like, totally. Why should I care about you? I'm a totally unrelated bystander studying parapsychology, you know, like, paranatural, the occult. So, sort of like magic stuff? We've been made. Dude. <laughs> Death of Aiden noise. <laughs> what what does Malefic mean? Think Yu-Gi-Oh. I will uh, reveal that uh, I had I did not know Malefic until reading this earlier, and I looked it up ahead of time. So now I do know what Malefic means. I think Maleficent is is one of the best words that's ever been coined. It's so cool, Maleficent. Malefic makes me think of it. Maleficent is just such a fucking cool word. Thank you, Sir Story. Ugh, my head still hurts. I hate amnesia-based tutorials. Maybe if I check up on who I'm actually defending, it'll jog my memory a bit. What if I passed off fast food as, as my own? Right, don't forget, DL6 Squawk, hello, hello! Available for voice acting, by the way, Squawk! <laughs> guilty, guilty, I'm Maggie Bird, Squawk, Squawk! Existence is pain, Squawk! This is true. Thank God I don't remember that cross. Don't remember cross-examining that. Your Honor, just go ahead and start the trial. Mm, very well then. The witness may now start their testimony. Please tell us what you saw during the murder. Oh, huh, okay. This is just full JoJo now. I, I recognize the symbols. Ho ho! You're questioning me. Questioning me. Question me as close as you'd like. You're going to need decisive evidence to stop me. What are those symbols? I may have fucked up on the character references. I don't know. I haven't actually watched JoJo yet. Wow! Outing yourself in front of all these people? Wait a minute. Decisive evidence. Decisive evidence. I'm not sure why, but something about that phrase. It's stirring something inside me. I clench my fists. What is going on? Everything started coming back. I remember now. I feel a raging fire inside myself. It has to <laughs> There's absolutely nothing that can stop it. I'm a lawyer. Wow. Now this is anime. Can I make this a little smaller to fit? Now this is anime. Holy shit. Thank you, D5R. You really haven't watched JoJo, the first anime? Huh. And still somehow going? I'm surprised. Thank you. Pretty cool dragon lawyer. The symbols are menacing. All right, so uh, we're just we're just doubling down on this, I guess. All right, here we go. From Toxel, family friendlier edition. It seems like luck is on your side, pal. Von Karma will be the prosecution for this case. The bringing him back, huh? How lame. I'm horny. Just, 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 just I'm horny. Like not even. Oh no, she's hot or anything. Just, just I'm horny. Just, just it. Just I'm horny. Just, just pointing to the. Dra okay, all right. Just. <laughs> so like all the prosecutors and detectives do have a theme. So she's she's a dominatrix themed prosecutor, I guess? Or is it just the whip? Is, is Am I missing a reference with, with her? Or is it just kind of dominatrix kind of themes sort, sort of thing? I'm not sure. Just, I'm horny. She's not that good. The whole joke yesterday was, oh no, she's hot. It's because she's, she's Von Karma's um, daughter. And we didn't like Von Karma. That's the whole point. Kappa, no Kappa. <laughs> oh 
What is... What is this creature? <laughs> Alright, this is from MacChem. The first game had its ups and downs, so I'm excited to see how much better this one is. I am ready. Blow me away, game. Mr. Wright, I will play the role of your tutorial case. My name is literally Birds. Well, shit. Hey, Nick, did you miss me? You're in this game, too? That's right, and guess what? I'm... Yeah, whatever. Hello, hello, Mr. Dennis. My name is, like, a pun or something, but I totally don't get it. And, like, I'll be your own, like, personal moron in this game. You're going to give me a headache, aren't you? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm Pearl, and now that Maya is an adult... No, 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 for the next nine games. No, 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 no. Ugh, where is... Where is the object button when I need it? I miss you, Chadworth. Why couldn't you have been here instead of Maya? Object... <laughs> At some point, like, uh, like a, a male ghost is gonna possess someone. How is he gonna handle that? <sighs> well done, Macam. Is this supposed to be mayhem and it's just a Q, or is it, or is it Macam? Okay, I have two more. Just Mac him and thanks. Uh, shoot me for um, for like a, a artist role later. Don't hesitate to, to bug me about that. It might take me a little while to get back to you, but don't don't hesitate to, to bug me about it. And a reminder to like like um, sign your art if if you want to for the fan art when it goes on screen. Feel encouraged to do that, like your like Instagram or Twitter or whatever whatever it is that artists use. I don't know for sure. Uh, there is no way the victim would have gotten the defendant's name wrong. After all, they were lovers. Well, I mean, he is gone. <laughs> hey, Joe, here's your coffee. Okay. Oh, thanks, thanks, L Lily. How's Finn doing? Joseph Anderson, Ace Twitcher. There you go. There you go. I was I was gonna make the joke with with uh, with uh, L L I Lil L L Y. No one on Discord can ever um, spell Lily's name. They always put the Y there. Uh, this is by Loom Weaver. Thank you, Loom Weaver. And last but not least is I've got new gloves, Mr. Anderson. White oh wife alert. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> would you like to compliment them? Or would you like the whip? Whoa. Oh no, the gloves are a stream meme now. There's no stop stopping it now. The fan art will keep coming. Just as planned. TN Note, just as planned, meets Kikaki Dori by Spinal. Okay, what is this Kikaki Dori? Kikaku Dori, just as. Oh, it, that is actually what it means. Okay, there's some Death Note thing here? Just according to Kikaku. Alright. Thank you, Spineless Coward. Uh, apologies for the dogs today. They are being very rowdy. I don't know why. Um, hopefully you don't hear the baby either. Uh, Kate's new thing is to just scream as loud as she possibly can to the point where it actually hurts my ears. Uh, and the dogs are being very, very like barking and everything today. And uh, Yoshi, our dogs are named uh, Gatsby and Yoshi. 
and uh, they're puppies. We just only recently got them. And Yoshi's new thing that he loves to do is to run around in circles to gain up speed and then just wildly lunge as fast and hard as he can in any random direction to try and dislocate my shoulder. So that's what Yoshi likes to do. It's a fucking 40 pound lab, like puppy. Too big for his own good, and Gatsby's even bigger, and he just, just likes to do that. Your house sounds like a zoo. Yeah, it, it is pretty much a zoo, yeah. These are the chaos years. It'll get better. I hope. Alright, so I'm going to read Sousa first. I also want to apologize for, for my attitude yesterday. I was in a really bad mood. I probably should have cancelled the stream. I'm in a little bit of a better mood today, but I'm still not in a great mood. But much better than yesterday. But yeah, I was in a bad mood yesterday, and I'm sorry if I was a bit of an asshole. Or even more of an asshole than usual yesterday. Um, I think I still managed to, to not be too bad, and we like kind of played it off, and we had some jokes about it back and forth. But yeah, I was in a really bad mood yesterday. I was in a really bad mood the day before too, but I was in a worse mood yesterday for some reason. Uh, there's no no reason either. I'm just I was just in a bad mood. I don't know if I if I didn't sleep properly or something, but yeah, I don't know. Too tired, but yeah. So apologies for that. We got the ballad of Bobby Bob out of it, so I think it might have been worth. But yeah. Anyway, in case I was out of line, I, I apologize. Uh, thank you, Nomafit, for the four month three sub. Sorry, six month three sub. Can't watch the stream since I haven't caught up yet, but I still prefer Dangarampa, but Ace Attorney is pretty good. Also, might not have seen my name here in a long while later. Thank you, Nomafit, for the, for the resub. Uh, I still prefer Dangarampa. Uh, I'm not really enjoying this the beginning of this game as much as the first one, but uh, I am still enjoying it. I know I'm being critical of parts. Um, I think that uh, I, I just want to make it clear that sometimes I'm frustrated, but sometimes I'm frustrated because I feel like I should be frustrated, and I'm kind of just kind of trying to be in line with the game what i think the game wants for me like sometimes even phoenix is like are you fucking kidding me and he, I, i'm like that too um uh, are you fucking kidding me uh so please don't think that i'm i'm shitting on the game um all the time sometimes i am going to be critical of it of course but uh every time i do say that doesn't make sense that doesn't mean the game is fucking this is a flaw and this needs to be fixed like sometimes it doesn't make sense because the game doesn't want it to make sense and it's supposed to be like that sort of thing so yeah but hopefully that comes across uh, thank you, Dragner, for the 11 3 sub. Almost a year in Kangaroo Court. That's true. Thank you, Dragner. Thank you, Stabby Magoo. Always want to say your name for the 6 3 sub. Gouch. It's a bit funny. The kids still say that. Whenever I say it's not funny to the kids, they say it's a bit funny back at me. Uh, thank you, Elephant Doom, for the 32 month 3 sub. Almost three years. Where has the time gone? Yeah, yeah. We were just talking on Discord uh, about how um, I am rapidly approaching that I have been... Like, my I, I was born in 1985. Um, so I'm rapidly approaching the the year that I have I, I've been alive longer than uh, there was time before World War II ended before I was born. So uh, that's just fucking great. That was really great to realize the other day. So yeah, where is the time gone? Indeed. Thank you, Alephant Doom. Uh, thank you, Naya Gust, for the 10 month resub. Oh shit! Today's my 10 month. I've been happy to see you back streaming, Joe. Always catch you live when I can. Excited for Yakuza 0 soon. I think it should be not next week, but the week after, right? That game surprised me. I hope it surprises you too. Signed, the number one furry in your chat, JPH Kloppis. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Like, wow, that came out of nowhere. Thank you, Nyagust. Bold move. Hope it pays off for you. Thank you, Scourge. Oh, for the 100 bits. Joe, if you have the power to perform Weeb Absolution, does that make you the Weeb Pope? Or wait, maybe it makes you the Weeb Anti-Pope? I don't know. Like, like it's 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 just, it's not ironic anymore, is it? I don't know when it happened, but it's not ironic anymore. Maybe we're going to ban Weeb games for a couple months after, uh, after Ace Attorney 3. I don't know. I don't know when it happened, but it's not really ironic anymore. Thank you, uh, Care Man Manag, or Manage, I'm not sure, for the 32 month 3 sub. Thank you very much. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Uh, thank you, Cast Grader, for the 2 month 3 sub. Thanks for all the streams. You're very welcome. I hope you like them, Cast Grader. Uh, thank you, Integrity744, for the 9 month 3 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you for not making a pregnancy joke. Thank you, Integrity744. Uh, Happy Pie has resubscribed for 21 months. Did I say your name yesterday? Maybe it, it came through again, or maybe it was bits yesterday. Hope you're feeling better today. What are your thoughts on Spelunky? Uh, Spelunky is okay. I've played it for about 40 or 50 hours when it first came out uh, on Steam, not, not the browser version. And I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I thought that it, it kills you too quickly when it comes to insta-kills. I, I'm thinking that maybe insta kill shouldn't be in the game, but I don't I don't know if that's like a shit take or something or a, sorry a shatake. Uh, but yeah, I kind of feel like insta kills don't really have a place in the game like that. But eh. 
Like when you get crushed or fall into something, maybe it should just teleport you back to the beginning of the level or something and you, and you take a harder damage instead of, um, instead of just killing you outright. It does add tension to it though. I just feel like the game wasn't always fair, but again, only 40 to 50 hours. Uh, thank you, Red Zeph, for the 21 month reset. 21 months already. I'm so glad you are streaming again. Love the Witcher vids, but these streams have truly become part of my life now. Thank you, Red Zeph. Thank you. Some people prefer the streams to the videos now, which is just so weird to me. Community challenge 50% complete. What's that one? The month, the weekly? No, it's the uh, spending coins on nothing. Thank you, uh, X Captain Nautilus, for the new sub. Welcome, X Captain Nautilus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Quantum, as well. Welcome, welcome, Quantum065. Thank you for the new sub. Uh, thank you, Bouncy Bob, for gifting um, one, two, three, four, five subs to Jiggly Girls, Megalomaniac64, Merlina, Phoenix Furion, and Peterbite. Welcome to you five, and thank you very much, Bouncy Bob. Not all Bobs, hashtag. And the last three on my list are Bolus Reacher with 100 bits. Don't worry, Joe. After this case comes the worst case in the entire series, and here co here. And here goes into spoiler chat for being very excited. Oh, is the, is the next case uh, uh, turn about Big Top? Because even I know about that. I don't know what happens, but uh, I, I've seen that being memed. Is, is the next one turn about Big Top? All right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see how bad it is. Uh, thank you, Gouda King, for the new sub. Welcome, Gouda King. I like your name. Thank you very much. Zorgox is 100 bits to say, yeah, of course, it, if it hasn't been obvious, I'm really hoping that you'll like Yakuza 0. Probably won't love it, but I do think, hope it'll be an enjoyable time. I hope I enjoy it. It has combat, right? It's not a turn-based thing. Hopefully, I like the combat. If I hate the combat, it's going to be kind of a slog, because I know the game is really long. But hopefully, I get into the combat. And last but not least is Teef. Thank you, Teef. 5 month resub. Glad to be here. Thank you, Teef. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Okay, so that was it. So this intro was 45 minutes, but the music was playing for seven minutes and that's kind of like our stream is starting. So it was really only 38 minutes and we talked about um, sex and sex sexuality for a bit at the beginning because of what happened yesterday. Uh, still a bit too long, but we had double fan art as well. Mm, I don't know. Let's keep going and see how it goes. Anyway, let's start. Do, 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 do. Like, I think we spoke about that for over 10 minutes, didn't we? Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18, just like me? Um, yeah. Why? Well, she acts and, and looks way older than you, Maya. Fucking anime. I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time, all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and, well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the, sus the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? Like, Maya's alright. My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel... Uh, could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please do. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. <laughs> Pearly, not this again. <laughs> Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two, uh, you two to your, to your alone time. Has, has she ever transformed into Mia in front of Maya? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't they want to talk? Like, they're sisters, like, don't you want to see, like, your big sister again and talk to her? Like, phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls, this way Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What, what, what do you mean? What's going on? June 22, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. I guess if you can channel spirits and you have full confirmation in the afterlife, death suddenly isn't all that big of a deal. Like, you know that when you die, you're eventually going to see them again anyway. Hmm, court is now in session for the trial of my FA. 
The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. Really? <sighs> all over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me and I can as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Humph. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight, Gulf. Hmm. Now that a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Hmm. Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. That the key could have just been slipped under the door and someone could have taken it. There's lots and lots of ways that the key could not have been in there. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Hmm, but, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Hmm, can you substantiate your claim? No! Hmm, oh, okay, Phoenix, can you rebuttal? Isn't that what I am here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia, she seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. What, is it become Russian now? I'm trying I'm trying to do uh, uh, the count from Sesame Street still. It was it was Italian, now it's become Russian? It has not become Russian. Alright, cool. Why are you guys talking about Russia then? Could I even do a Russian accent? I don't think so. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Ah, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Hmm, uh, spirit severing technique. The technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Hmm, yes, that is. Oof. You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Was technique spelt wrong? Yes, that is correct. Well, what in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. Oh, oh, what? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order. Miss Fey, please testify to the court. To this court, what happened during that time? Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante <laughs> on this trial. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Hmm. And you're just saying this now. 
Why have you hidden this until now? You never asked. I, I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Oh, Mr. Wright, a cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshot, shot, 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 those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. Why don't we channel the doctor and find out? Like, if channeling is accepted, like, mm, just now you said those two, who were, who were the two people you were referring to? You and Goofy. I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. Gorsh! I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. What? Oh, uh, thanks. This is a lame running joke. Hmm, what did you do after that, Miss A? I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Yeah, why didn't you? Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Yeah, question further. Yeah. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Oh, how selfless. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This, this is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. I love you. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you say that, that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however... Objection! The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question further. might be a mistake, so you were covering for the defendant. Well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. <laughs> something unexpected? What, pray tell? Did she... The witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Oh, yes, very well. Ugh. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Now! Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. Do, do. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendants. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Ack. Then why is she still on drug? Hmm, growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. And that nurse was bigger than you? But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and fainted for a short while. As a nurse, she knew exactly where to hit to cause me to pass out. You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. Hmm, how long were you unconscious? I, I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy, fitness, elaborate on that point for us. So, it took us ten minutes, to, like, more than ten minutes to go and call the police and then go back? I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. 
Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great, well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Oh, now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself, because she was gone when I woke up. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by, by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Conroy is ready to move on to her next witness. Hmm, that's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. What? No? Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Hmm, yes, yes. That is exactly what we should be. Eek, be quiet, you. Now then, what the escape had done, what the escape had done, escapee, sorry. What the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, she went to speak with someone? Uh, who, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny? Oh, money mo. I think you can see where this is headed. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Eeny Meeny. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Oh, well, yes, sir. Now then, Miss Meany, after the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Oh, yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine from my sake. Do, 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 do. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. <laughs> it was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. She told me that she just killed the doctor, but, you know, I still think it was Maya that did it, even though it was my sister that changed her body and was still in control and could talk to me and everything. Like, like she still totally is responsible. No, no, hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of the channeling at the time. At that time. Ooh, are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Mimi. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, uh, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Beanie, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. She said, like, I hate you. That was no accident. Maya Faye, like, sabotaged the car. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny? 
Oh, all right. Mm, so it's confirmed that it was actually your sister as a ghost that did the killing. Oh, not my fate. Okay. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Y y yes. There. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? Oh, I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It's a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. Um... The end. But... What do you think, Mr. Right? Isn't, th isn't this like putting putting a gun on the stand? No, yeah, it wasn't the person that shot the gun. It was the gun. Yes, gun, go to prison. Order, order, order. Gun, guilty. Go to jail. Gun, gun, jail. It, it certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... This testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. And even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if he'll make this one more into this one more entertaining than the last. Okay, like chat, am I wrong for thinking that like it sh it should be the ghost that should be like, is responsible then, not not the channeler or or what? Like I understand that the game is established now; they don't give a shit about that. That's a lost cause. We're not going there anymore. But like, surely it's the ghost's fault, not like not like I don't know. Like there are no laws for that. Well, like. It's kangaroo court. Just like we're we're like oh it, she would look different because of the channeling. She would act different because of the channeling. Like surely at that point it's not even Maya. I guess I guess I'm more annoyed that we're not even. Woof 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 woof. I guess I'm annoyed that we're not even entertaining the idea. Like we're not even we're not even going there. We're not even saying hey. Doesn't that mean that Maya isn't all that responsible? You know what I mean? Like, it's... Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, um, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like premonition that it was going to be a totally seedy day. Yes, indeed. Fucking seedy. Mm, yes, seedy. Yeah, I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Mm, anyway, so you were taking a nap. Oh, I, I could go for a nap myself. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Do you know the time? Um, uh, like... Maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when someone came into your room? Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Yes, you should have been more clear. Mm, yes, you should have been more clear. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really okay. That's it? Why did you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness, about this person who entered the side room. Damn. Are you absolutely sure? I, I guess? You guess. Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Oh, well, Mr. Wright. <laughs> the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? That she's too stupid to testify? Like, holy shit. We got more out of the parrot. You were happy in a sad way? 
No, I'm like, I'm Eni. I'm not happy in a sad way. Like, get my name right. Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was like someone who didn't know about like the occult and stuff, but I like know all about the Korean channeling technique. I can't spell it though. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, that's wh what she said. Hmm. Should I drop this line question? No, question further. Always question further. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Ow. Aw, oh, goddamn. Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Uh huh, Mr. Wright. This question of, of the witness... This question of what the witness felt sh when she saw her sister. Is it really that important? Oh, it's, a, it's very important. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I have got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Mm, Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Mimi, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like, totally cool with that. What was my testimony again? I wasn't like scared at all, and like, her costume looked totally like normal. So, there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance? Like, yeah, nothing was like, weird. Hmm, where's the blood? Hmm. Hmm. Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? My sister, she, like, totally is something terrible. Alright. Something terrible? What was this thing she told you? She, like, told me this really bad joke. She was like, I went to the zoo the other day, and it was terrible. They didn't have any animals except for one dog. It was a shih tzu. Huh, like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish sieve for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. Whoa! That's, um, Nintendo... Pa what was that show called? With It was flipped between Mario and, and Zelda. Anyway, should I ask to hear the story again? Um... No, don't bother asking. I just hear the story, it's not really going to raise that bad. Actually, the fence is fine, does not need to hear the story again. Hmm, very well, you may continue your testimony, Miss me, Miss me. I know there has to be something here I can use, but where? She really put a lot of thought into this slide, didn't she? We can't rush this, let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up, but don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. All right, so the blood or gotta be that one, right? Like, where's the blood? Objection. That was a very well spun line, Miss Eni. Are you like talking to me? But what are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix? Right? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Shut up, ghost. Miss Meanie, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? Oh, you mean like, she was covered in blood? Like, my sister was a nurse. She would come home covered in blood all the time. Like, that wasn't out of the ordinary for me. Yes, that's the fucking normal. Yeah, well, yes, so it checks out to me. Shut the fuck up, Phoenix. But I don't think that's what you were thinking about at all. Take, oh no, he's becoming, take a look at this picture. This is a picture of, of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The, the blood spray. Miss Meanie, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um. Order, order, Miss Meanie. What is the meaning of this? Miss Meanie. Uh-oh. I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that... What are you stammering about, your honor? Um, uh, well, I, uh, uh, oh, hmm. 
that witness. Her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to, like, snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. Uh, if, if, if you please. Uh, cause the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. After the murder, part two. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm, yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? No. Well, all right, I guess not. Very well, you may question the witness. The blood like just vanished for a little bit and then it just came back later. So that's why I didn't notice. Huh, mm, oh yeah, that makes sense to me. All right, Mr. Wright, your testimony. Really, because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinion. I was just about to say light, light is subjective onto this court. No one gives a fuck about what you think about the Odyssey. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Meanie's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Whether the lights were on or not is completely subjective and is not up for discussion. Oh, yes, that sounds good to me. Like, okay. Uh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. You, you didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. She didn't get blood on, on, like, on her chest either? That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Like, I'm, I'm a valley girl, and, like, like that means I'm from America. So, like, people are carrying guns, like, all the time. Like, it's not out of the ordinary. Mm, that's a good point. Continue. And I was, like, persuaded my sister wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think like she knew. She like said she didn't, she did something like really bad. And like she said she wanted to go with me to like apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi Spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah, I just said it. And then, like, it took my sister to channeling chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better, too. Mr. Phoenix right. The sooner, the better. Oh, damn. Are you asking me out? She says with her whip at the ready. She's flirting, Phoenix. God damn it. And, like... Miss Morgan was the, the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Meanie? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Um, something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you were inside room, arrived at the crime scene. I'm talking about when you arrived at the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. Huh, like, what should I do? Press hard- like, you notice the body? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Just give up already, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I wonder if I put too much faith in Amy's ability to do anything with that brain. It's no good. I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement, he'll end the trial, I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Okay, so that was shot down. The costume is purple, blood, and light. Like, I, I feel like that's bullshit, but there was no no hint there. Like, persuading my sister wasn't right. Like, there's like that. And then I took my shit. Okay, is it that 
on the way there you didn't see Pearl breaking, like putting the urn back together maybe? Like, let's try that. Talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Press harder. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, I totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Miss Wright, that, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? It's very important. I do, yes. I'm talking like you now, Judge. I ask because this is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Hmm, very well. Miss Beanie, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. It's so I can hit Q on it. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like... I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Hmm, I guess this really is a dead end. Something you finally pull out of a witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. It's no good, I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge will use assessment, okay. Okay, how do I... Broken by Pearl, or the... The ball, playing with the ball, or bro which one? I'm gonna say broken, right? Unrepair in the hallway until these get me out. That one. I finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Take a look at this urn! Like, urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So, like, what does that prove? Yes, what does that prove? Who cares about some worn out old urn? Like, yeah, I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything about, like, an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could have not seen this in person. This, oh, sorry, this person. All right, um... Direct, director Hottie! Take that. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Hmm, yes, and how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was, was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Whoa! Wait, she broke the urn. Yep, she actually accidentally knocked it over with her ball. The urn was ruined. No world record. And Pearl is the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Ah, oh, nice ghost. Miss Meanie. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were while we were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. Oh, did I like not mention that? Like, I totally am legally blind. That's why I keep my eyes closed. Ooh, okay, well, yeah, but your testimony is still fine. All right, I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Meanie. You are a masterful liar. Ah. Oh, Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Meanie, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About what you were really doing at the time of the murder, of course. I was murdering! The witness just testified about that. That... that's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? There's no way. Your lie ends here. What? What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder she was asleep in the side room, and I say that's not possible, because there is clearly a contradiction here. Hmm, a contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Oh shit, what? It's in her testimony. Just not yeah, she, she couldn't know. We just did it. We just proved that she was bullshitting. 
Oh, is this a separate thing now? Oh, no. Alright, time to lose some points. Time to lose some points. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Mimi, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? But the body of the doctor was in there. It's very simple. Miss Meany, how did you know that fact? What? Uh, how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Oh, we got him! Which means, Miss Meany, you did, in fact, go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by the way of the winding way. Almost Christmas. But but look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Oh yes, that's right, Your Honor. But what if she can climb? Which is why she secured her way there. Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um. Er. Miss Meany, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've put that out on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright, I can do with it. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah, why do I have to answer that? Make the wi make the witness answer! The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Meeny, so now is the time to prove it. Well, now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? In the channeling chamber. Like, up here, though. Miss Meany was here, of course. What? But that, that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? It is. You're very familiar with this. That's right. Miss Meany was at the scene of the crime. At the time of the crime. Order, order, order. That's why that is... Whoa! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Oh, yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Meeny was hiding at the scene of the crime. I, I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Over here. But Goofy told us that there was no one behind the, the, the side panels. Ah, yes, but Goofy didn't say that there, there was also a big fucking box back there that someone could hide in. It's like a coffin. Why did Goofy not tell us that there was a big fucking box behind the side panels? Gosh, you never asked. Here, of course. Hmm, behind the folding screen. Ah, don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. <laughs> there ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen, except for that box, but I'm not gonna say it. See? You you stupid jerk. Oh, whoa. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, Slimeball. Then now, Miss Meanie, one so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. Oh, oh I'm sorry. God damn it, the judge is such a pushover. It looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. I'm a lawyer! Yeah, you go ahead and use that to hide. And you should hide in shame until you die. What's with these two? It's like they did a mind meld all of a sudden. Don't let them affect you, just think about the correct answer. You're a lawyer. What's wrong, boy? Come on, say something, you loser. Now, now Miss Meanie, one so long as you should be saying, shut up, Gramps. All right. Miss Beanie, how you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You are hiding inside this box. Ah! That, 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 that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that, clo but that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Th that's right, I was sleeping there, so I would know, I should know, that clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can with some ev- I don't know? Oh, we can, because it has the bullet hole in it, yep, yep. 
And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove it. This clothing box was the scene of the crime when the murder took place. All right, do you want, do you want that? Or do you want this? I think it wants this. Take a look at this clothing box. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. You're so st You're so stupid, is it? There's a surround in that old thing. Oh, this. Oh, what on earth? I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole. About eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground, eh? Where have we heard that before? The folding screen! It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the folding screen and then hit into the box behind the folding screen. Ugh, not the folding screen. Miss Meanie, you were hiding behind the folding screen. Waiting for your chance behind the folding screen. Yes, your chance to kill Dr. Gray from behind the folding screen. Ah! Order, order. So what you were saying... Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Meeny? That is exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Meeny, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Faye. Well, to, to masquerade as Maya Faye. To masquerade as Maya Faye. She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. By having it be a channeling bullshit thing. No, no, so stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. Dinner. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself. Correct, it's not possible. Okay, so you're not you're not evil like your dad? Um... Francesca? Like, hmm, interesting. Like, so now that, now you're realizing that it wasn't Maya Faye, you're like, okay, who was it then? Do you actually care about justice? Interesting. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, that is. Need I remind you that foolish, that the foolish receive no mercy? Wait. Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? Well, you, you can't be serious. Huff, huff. Miss Meany, you had an accomplice. I'm a lawyer. Grr, this person. If it wasn't someone from Crane Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fay household, you wouldn't have that having wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan Fay. Hmm, isn't that the wonderful lady, the witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to, to, say to this, Miss Beanie? Grr, grr. You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. And a gun. Do you deny it? Where did the stabbing come into it, though? Ah. I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently toward the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent, and the doctor didn't notice. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Hmm, unexpected. Yes. Bang. Oh! Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. Oh, shit! With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And this is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... Bang. 
After that, after that, you and the other lady thought thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Okay, but... But... But no bullet hole. So she put... She put another robe on? And then just went over and just fucking like... Gophered up in his blood? Or, or what? Click. Miss Meanie, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. Click. It hit Maya's- it hit Maya. When she was laying on the floor or when she was already in the box? Wouldn't there be another hole in the box then at that point if the bullet came out of it? She's lying down? How did how did it go through her What? Okay, that doesn't make sense, but alright. And pretending to be my fae. But but that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Faye chased us out. Please, please leave this area to me. Go quickly to it and inform the police. Hurry, before there are more victims here. It does, but, okay, so, so, uh, it, it went into the box at eight inches above, right? And I don't think it was at a downward angle because of the way he was shooting from the floor. So how did it go in at eight inches above and then suddenly sharply go bump right down through the sleeve? Like like the sleeve is the sleeves would be on the floor unless they bunched up against the side of the box. But if they bunched up against the side of the box, why did it not hit Maya? I don't, I don't think that makes sense. What what's one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind the murder. If there were two holes, then maybe. Like, where's the bullet? Huh. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, who's that? Laughing at a time like this. Ugh. Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still to a chance evolving? Well, what is it this time? Oh, Miss Von Karmer, surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think that someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? In the picture, she was on her knees. No, the chat is saying that she, Maya Maya took the bullet in the um in the box. She can't be kneeling in the box. What in the world, Mr. Phoenix? Right, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area, and that is. If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Huh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. Like, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Meeny want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A motive? That's... That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray... She thinks she killed... He killed her sister by overworking it. The reason you want Dr. Gray dead is this. Um... The, the car accident, right? Ha. Huh. Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. What?! You think I did this to get revenge on my sister's death? Yeah? Yes, because through that accident, you suffered a lot in her pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has to prove that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I want to take revenge based on nothing? Well, what do you mean by that? See now, stupid gramps. I'm like going to explain. So like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. But maybe it took you that long to plan it, or, like, you were recovering still, you couldn't do it. Like, plan planning a murder, like, 
and you want to get away with it, that takes time, and you might still have been hurt or something like that. Um, and besides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like, Dr. Gray, it was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? Or maybe you went and just kind of like gave him the idea. She, she's back to her airhead persona. However, youch. Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You failed to support your own theory. The end. Oh, I think we have our answer. Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Meanie has stated is very true. Woo! The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no money. Woo! Woo! Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence, and I'm not sure your point. Tisk, tisk, so many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. Never mind that the clothing box was in there, and we don't know how or why, and that she did, has a bullshit story about how she got back to the channeling chamber that doesn't check out that whatsoever, and she knew about shit that was going on in the channeling room when she shouldn't have been able to, and that there's a fucking bullet in the thing, and that the robe doesn't have a bullet hole in it, so there was some shenanigans going on there, and that another robe was burnt in the incinerator. No, there's there's nothing to go on here. You're, you're fucking stupid, Phoenix Wright. Oh, yes, I agree, yeah. What what happened? I thought I had her for sure. Hee <laughs> hee. See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Ah, good callback. Nice. Oh, very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Meeny. Mighty Mo. Your Honor, please, allow the defense one more minute. Hmm, all right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Oh, time's up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Meanie had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Yes, I can. I am not totally confident here, but I know I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I know the answer, but I'm not telling you. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Meanie had a motive. Ha ha ha. Too bad. You're, like, too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. But I'm still here on the stand. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? You're supposed to be on my side. Aye. Avon Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. That's my future boyfriend you're talking to. Oh, very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a sec. I've been dead for five minutes, Phoenix, and you've already found someone new. How dare you? I can't believe this. And Von Karma, too. June 22, 12.04 p.m., District Court, defendant lobby number three. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Amy could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else, no one else other than your aunt Morgan. That that's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt? Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix. Right? Ah, Commissar on Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say your own situation. Uh, looking down on me, even though we're the same age. I'm much taller than you, I can't help it. Are you, are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Humph. Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. June 22, 12, 10 p.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Oh wow, that was fast. Hmm, court will not reconvene, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Eeny Meeny had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. 
Well, if you can't, then this is over and we did the recess for a reason. Eeny, me and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection, and that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. How's it going, Lily? Did Gatsby poop? Okay, that's good. Miss Meany, please testify to, look to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Oh, Miss Meany, if you please. Okay, okay, like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... Last year's accident. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then or something. And, like, the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like... Open the door and like got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of, heard of this incident. It was all the, it was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Oh yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Whoa. Those were merely rumors, totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes, Miss Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Miss, Miss Meanie's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work for this from another angle. Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like, that was in May too. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was like, May 2nd. And like, our accident was like, on the 24th. Oh, 22 days later. Two accidents back to back, do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was like, totally tired, so that's why, duh. <laughs> Didn't say that very well. <laughs> like, something really bad happened. That was a malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Of course it does. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. She was totally tired, you mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? Press harder. So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. Oh! Nice, nice, nice uh, hint there. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switch, switched with her. True, true. Uh, but, like... I don't, like, have a driver's license. This is news- This is news to me! I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss, Miss Meany. Hmm, Miss Meany, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. I was, like, totally pooped, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was at, like, 1am or so, I think. I had like a paper due like really soon. So like I hadn't slept and was working like real hard. It was because the two it was it so it was because the two of you were so tired that this accident happened. I like woke up because of a jolt and it was like see if I blah 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 and your sister, what happened to her? I I I didn't see her. The car was like totally black and there was like a ton of smoke. I, like, totally had, like, no clue what was going on. Please tell us, uh, tell us about your escape in more detail. I, I, like, 
kept wanting to forget that time, so like, I don't remember things about the accident in like, detail anymore. Hmm, well it's alright, no need to push yourself. I think I like, gave an interview after the accident? Like, that would probably be the most accurate, you know? Hmm, if it's that article, then I've already got it. I like, didn't have a drive since like a new team in the drive car, okay. And that's why you're in the passenger seat? Like, yeah. I was like at my college's research lab till like really late. So my sis was like giving me a ride home. I see. Phoenix, yes, you can't do this. You're being too easy on her. There's gotta be some sort of secret sleeping sort of secret sleeping in this testimony. Yes, yeah, so let's find that one crushing contradiction and end this. Alright, so where's this interview? Oh, it's like the same thing. All right. Do, do, do. <gasps> One AM. Miss Meanie, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um... Hmm, what is the meaning of this, Miss Meanie? Uh... Um... Uh... That... That's right. Yeah, yeah, I had, like, a license, but... It expired, but I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director H Hody, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, sets... <laughs> Yeah, that's real strong. What, are you talking about the perverted uh, FAC-A clinic director? Yes, that perverted FAC-A clinic director and how it did you- what? No one cares! Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? N November? The accident happened last May. That's a half year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. W what in the, 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 the- That's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Meanie did not have a driver's license. Erk. Well, can we see your driver's license to confirm that it was issued in November? Um, like, no. Fucking no! She doesn't have to show it to you! Oh. Cry, and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched, or, or switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would have, like, let me drive. Mm. Yow. Don't just stand there mm, to yourself. Not you too, Mia. With the whip and the pain and uh, and the owl. Miss Meanie, why do you think you would have not been able to allow it to drive anyway? Uh, that's that's because... I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Meanie, if you please. Uh, like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. Meanie. Eeny meanie. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No, no way am I letting you, letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm, I see. A bright red ca car for sports. Now <laughs> the defense may question the witness. I'm not terribly knowledgeable at cars, but I wouldn't be allowed. So what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Wow. Ignorance is to be whipped. I'm really ignorant. What is what is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So like, may I continue? She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at like a drop of rain. And like, she would notice if someone like touched the core card core car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Press harder. Wedge takes a special care of the car. How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car. Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? 
I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, alright? Why would she drive it when she's really tired then, and she lo loves it so much? Hmm, well, Miss Beanie, what kind of car was it? She, like, had just gotten this really bright red car for sports. It was a new car? Yeah, she had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm, the UK? Were those her boyfriend's initials? And that was a really special model. She just, just glosses over it. She had waited for a whole year to, for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. If she had a permit to drive, doesn't that mean she could drive? Like, isn't that the same thing? Like, if you have a learner's permit to drive, as long as there's someone else in the car, I guess it's too late. It depends on the law, I guess. I don't really know anything about cars, but I have a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes? Please have the witness append, append what she just said into her testimony. Hmm, you mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Sigh. If you, li if you like the car- if you like- I can't read. Well, if you like cars that much then, wish I could read. That's not my point. Though to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Beanie, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. Doo -doo. Susan's car was like a totally special model from England. I yelled, hold it pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it. Um, so yes, what am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with, the, with this. Why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive and their driver's seat is opposite to our, our cars here in the States. It would seem there is no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? Do the, do the British even make cars? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? Like, I'm sure there is, like, some places in, in, in the UK that make cars, but, like, I've never heard, like, UK cars is a, is a big thing. It's, like, American, Germany, and Japanese cars are the big ones, right? Aren't you literally- Yeah, and that's why I'm asking. I don't remember there being, like, a big, huge car industry in the UK. Dude, I just said, I know that there's probably some places in the UK that make cars, but not like big time, like, like fucking like there are like German uh, brands and, and American and Japanese. This whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? You, what do you know? That stick shape, the wild way starts to swim. Oh, damn. She's like, she knows a lot about it. Uh, forgive me. Personality really changes at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. She like would say things like, "No way am I letting you dri a noob drive my car." Was your sister good at driving? She was like totally awesome. She like said she was going to be like racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow, I think she bumped my question off track again. So like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. That was when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah, I like immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled like in a daze. Mm. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony. We have to attack it and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. Do you really think so? Believe, there's a path, I know it. Mm. Mia almost sounded like a prophet for a second there. Nah, profits can't be real. Okay, so is there is there like evidence that the car was like a different make or something? Oh shit, wrong one. This is a crash in the highway. The ones with the little skip flaming records and died at the site. Um, ongoing investigation revealed the driver fell asleep at the wheel. I was like totally tired and dropped off to sleep and there was this crash and then I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened the right door and then like got out. So if it, what, what, what's, uh, what part of this, uh, in Japan, cause this is Japan, um, what side of the, is the steering wheel on, in Japan? If Miss Ini Mini is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, okay, I guess it has to be that.
Miss Meany, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had you had said this in it, but I opened the right door and like got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side of the passenger seat, the left or the right? Uh, well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver is on the left side. That would be for an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. Okay, so, like, I know that. Is that? That's that's pretty subtle and and, and hidden there. Like, if, and you don't like, what if you don't know that? I don't know. That's just a test of do you know that about British cars? He said it? Oh, did... Phoenix says the driver's on the different side? Oh, okay, I missed it then, sorry. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Did you impede Apparently not. I just thought they were talking about that the car was from the UK. I didn't know that it literally said in the testimony that, oh, and, and that means that the driver's seat is on the opposite side. I didn't know that they said that. I'll check back later. Hola! What do you mean by this? Miss Mini, you said that you had escaped during the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Whoa. Order, order in the court, order, order. Back. Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. And he said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Mining. That is what Amy said, yes, but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally you finally found the real root of this murder. I've known for, for three days, Phoenix. I knew before the murder even occurred. I know everything. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eni or Mimi, who was really driving that night? Um... Okay, so... When I say Eeny Meeny, am I is that mean I'm referring to the person on the stand, Eeny Meeny, who is actually Mimi Meeny now, pretending to be Eeny Meeny? But if I say Mimi Meeny, does that mean I mean Mimi Mimi, who has now been killed, but has been replaced by Eeny Meeny, who's now on the stand, but is really Mimi Mimi underneath that, who's pretending to be Eeny Meeny? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay, we're not there yet, so I think we're. It's gonna go where it's Eeny Meeny referring to the to to the person on the stand right now, even though Eeny Meeny is dead. Um. Okay. And the answer is Eeny Meeny, of course. Well, why would you say that? Miss Eeny Meeny just said so herself in her testimony. She said that she escaped the car from the right side door, which would have been where the driver's seat was. Wow. I'm inclined to feel sorry for a foolish fool who foolishly spends his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Meany Enemy had not received her driver's license. And that is why the accident happened. Hold it, Phoenix. It looks like you still don't see the real truth behind the accident. The real truth? Think outside the box. Think crazy. Isn't that what we always say? Alright, one more time. If we connect all the dots, there's only one answer. I'd like to ask the co- If I hadn't done that first... The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Mimi. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said. The witness, Miss Mimi Mimi, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The, 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 the next question. Who is the person standing in the witness stand right now? Uh, what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name, this witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... I'm a lawyer! Oh shit, we almost lost. Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble. 
Then, how do you explain her appearance? Hair dye! This witness had several facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital, so for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeon used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery! This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right! It's a picture of her younger sister! No, But, but Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Th th then the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eeny Meeny. Miney Mo. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? Plastic surgery has not worked that well, Lamayo. Hey, they're sisters, so they already looked alike like to begin with, most probably. And how dare you criticize this game? It makes perfect sense. There's no way this doesn't make sense. What do you mean? How dare you try to think that it doesn't make sense? Of course it makes sense. Plastic, you can do magic with plastic surgery. What? Like, what the hell? Who's that person? Who said, who said that? Ban them. Ban them. It was Bobby Bob. Bobby Bob. That accident one year ago, the one who died that night was Eenie Meenie. Her sister Mimi then stole her face and was reborn as Eenie. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Meenie from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Mi Mini. However, that would not have been possible, because Mi Mimi Mini was still, in fact, alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted, so this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray! Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling. Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting with this witness about communicating with the dead. Okay, but why was she pretending to be her sister to begin with? Because her sister did the poisoning, or like the malpractice, or... And in that moment, his, his fate was sealed. Well, Miss well, Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness! That's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. Yeah. It was a complete accident that they made me look like my sister, and I just kind of went along with it. And I was like, you know what, I kind of like this life. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to chill with it. It's cool. But then that doctor was going to go and ruin everything. So I killed him. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away, your, your, away yourself to become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Mimi wants her old self to disappear because of this. So she was she was the reason the malpractice. That's that's about the malpractice institute. Doctor Gray was right. The masake was caused by the nurse, a nurse by the name of Mimi Mimi. That's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Mini had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister on purpose to take her identity. It was premeditated. The timing couldn't have been worse. 14 patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all, the only way. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably the best answer out of all of it then. Like, she, she did that, guilt, probably was a mistake, then the car accident was a mistake too, or, like, I don't know, maybe she was drugged or whatever, but it was a mistake too, and then she's like, I, I don't want to be that person anymore, that kind of makes sense. She lost, she lost everything in the flames of the accident, her sister, and even her own face, that was her last chance, her chance to throw away her past and start a new life for the sister. I mean, it's still kind of batshit that, that, um, that it just worked out like that, but seeing the opportunity and taking it, that kind of makes sense. Unbelievable! A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of channeling that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. 
I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as, why did Miss Meany choose, cho choose to go to such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant Maya, Maya Fay. Th th this is preposterous. I, I'm perfect. Me, Francesca von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Yeah, oh, ah. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, now this is pod racing. Whoa, holy shit. And one more. Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix. Phoenix, this court is a fraud, a sham. Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Miss Wright regains consciousness, so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. Confetti court! Woo! Confetti court! Woo, woo, woo! Confetti court! That is all. This court is adjourned. Yeah, but what about Morgan? June 22, 3.13 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. I'm so unhappy. Congratulations, Maya. Sis? Oh, so this is the first time that they've, they've spoken. All right. That's... Really? It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis, sis. I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent. I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we, bo we broke... We broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself, and then you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had a plan down to the smallest de detail, huh? Nick, congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know, but I really don't want, some want something like this to happen ever again. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. Yeah, just wait until next game. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. This feels incomplete! It went on for too long and it still feels incomplete. Then Maya just... It's over. Why don't you just let it be? Nick, please. I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped with the plan was... Alright, do you want... Do you want this? Or do you want, or do you want this? Okay, the reason why Morgan helped me with the plan was is because we wanted you to go to prison so she could end up being the master, right? So how do, how do I say that? Sacred, no. No, 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 no. Did we use the cloth scrap in the trial? Maybe. No, 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 no. Why were her fingerprints on the gun? I guess she she Mimi went over and, and, and put the press put Maya's hand on the gun afterward? No, no, maybe no 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 no, 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 it's just no, no, Okay, I'm gonna guess it's Amy Faye because that's the founder. And it's like, she, she wants to take over, some, that's the closest to the master role. Okay, so what actually is it? And and I'll do it because because I don't want to I don't want to fuck it up. What actually is the answer? Pearl? Why is it pearl? Pearl kind of makes sense, but but why is why is that the answer? Cuz she wanted her to be the master. But wouldn't Morgan take over as master?
I thought Morgan was going to take over as master because it's been 20 years. Phoenix explains it. Okay, I, I believe you that Phoenix is going to explain it afterwards, but how am I supposed to, to, to infer that that's the reason? I know what the answer is, but I'm trying to figure out what how how is that the best way to say it. Okay. Pearly. Four years from now, a new master will be born into the Crane, Crane Village, and that person will be you, Maya. And, but if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear, and what would happen then? The branch family, my aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. Next person would be Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her, for her sake. Did the aunt say that? And I forgot. I thought it was that she was going to take over. It was also Pearls could become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that was... I think she was saying, I thought so. Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement. Cell 13. My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be the master of Kurain, dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl, that Maya Fey. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. And then she was never back again. Reunion and turnabout, the end. A brand new episode has been added. Episode 3, Turnabout Big Top. Alright, this will be fine. I've heard only good things about this. If Pearl has a lot of power and Morgan doesn't, how how does that work? If Morgan is such an old lady, she had um, Pearl late. But I don't think she's that old. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. The world's greatest magician, the one, the only, Big Top, Maximilian Galactica. Oh no, he's hot. All right, another another Jojo. Oh man, he just fucking died. Wow, they're in space. December twenty six, eight twelve p.m. Barry Big Circus Circuit Entrance. Merry Christmas. Oh, you're not going away. You're, you're, oh, for fuck's sake. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. Hehe, <sighs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica, he was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What, Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? Yes, I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since the terrible incident in Crane Village, and it was during that trying time that I met pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did. 
but I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's got to be spotless for the new year. So have you taken over looking after Pearl, Maya? Don't worry about it, really. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I'm glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly, look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. December 28, 9, 12 a.m., Brighton and Cola offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. Hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Beep. Hello, this is right in Cola. Nick, it's t, t terrible Ah, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here too, huh? The office is a terrible mess. I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office, what are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? No, I was checking at the scene. Huh? What happened? Oh, this is like the Steel Samurai again. Th thank you. We're we're here at the Big Berry Cir Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of the sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The Berry, I mean the Berry Big Circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Oh, Maya, what did you do? Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested too. Max, they arrested Max Galactica. Oh, shit, not Max Galactica. Oh, no. Maximilian Galactica, fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? Beat. Oh, we keep this. That's great. How you doing, plant? Charlie, a quite decorative plant. All right, there you go. There we go. That's that's the break scene. Okay, ten minutes. I'm gonna take puppies out. Go uh, go get a drink. Go walk around. Go pee. Do what you gotta do. See you soon.
All right, so, um, anyone else think that that last case ended all of a sudden? Or abruptly? I feel like Morgan should have went back on the stand at the end and we should have had it out with Morgan a bit. I don't know. Is that considered a good case? I kind of feel like that that wasn't all that great. Like so far, the first game been, has been much stronger than the second one. Like it wasn't it wasn't really that entertaining. Like I'm not really into this series for the mysteries, the the body switching, coffin moving, all that stuff, and and the clues. Like it was fine. It was serviceable. It wasn't really outstanding, but it was fine. But the whole like oh I I switch places with comeback surgery. It's just it's just really it's really wacky and off the wall, but in a way that isn't even entertaining, you know? Whereas Parrot on the stand and, and Bullet and Metal Detector and all this other shit, like that was really entertaining. And this just, I don't know. It just wasn't really funny. It wasn't really... Mm. Yeah, I didn't really think that was all that great. Is this one considered the worst case in the series? <sighs> really? It's the worst case in the whole series? Is this one right here? Okay. Asphaltless Tezel says that I love this case. Point and laugh chat, point and laugh. I, who have not even played it yet, also think this is bad. I'm a part of the crowd. Wow, you think this is good? Lol, ha ha ha. I don't know, I'll end up liking this more than you guys expect now. Because you guys have hyped, hyped it down. Not done with the VODs yet, but did you enjoy all of Ace Attorney 1 asks Bill Nye, the cream pie guy. Uh, I liked the last case the best before the DLC. The DLC case was kind of weak. Uh, overall, I liked it. It was it was entertaining. I like the concept and I think it's funny. It's, it's enjoyable. Uh, before we get back into it, uh, I want to say thank you to a couple people. Thank you to Clensensis, I think. Clensensis for the two month resub. Thank you very much. I said space fine use 100 bits to say maybe if she was being on trial for negligence on her practice as a medium of something, it would be better. Hmm, yeah. There's a lot of mistakes, I think, in, in that trial. Just, I don't know. Just overall, I just think it just, it, it it's kind of out there and it isn't out there for a good enough reason. Like, I'll accept a lot of um, quote-unquote rules being broken and a lot of inconsistencies if it's if it's good and it gets you somewhere that uh, that needs it to be, you know. Like, to the point that I'll, I'll even accept some characters just coming back from the dead or surviving things that they shouldn't really be able to survive if it means that the outcome is good enough. Like, um, it's rare, but it can happen. Asphaltus Tezel says... Uh, can you please try Terror Terror's voice for the judge? I dreamt it last night and it was totally awesome. I can't remember Terror Terror's voice. What is Terror Terror's voice like? Hey, anyone want to rub down? Terror Terror was, um, Fuckboy RD, right? I can't remember what voice we had for him. I don't think I did a voice for, for Terror Terror. He just had a fun voice. Coke Monster has resubscribed for three months. Literally just typing this pop up can go away. Oh, so the pop up can go away. Sorry, I misread it. Oh, there you go. Mission accomplished. Thank you, Coke Monster. Uh, I purple pun cake, or one purple pun cake, or just purple pun cake has, has subscribed for the first time. Thank you very much for the new sub, purple pun cake. Aspiring trophy husband has used 300 versus say just in case if you didn't know, if there are no worthy wa waifus, you can always opt out of life or of the game. There's always a worthy waifu in what in life, but in the game, meh. I like Francesca. She's all right. I'm still sh uh, shipping Chadworth and um, and uh, and Wright though. 
And it's not a meme. Like, I, I think that they're good together. And I think Wright has a crush. Southless Tesla also says, James Bond drives Aston Martin, which is UK car. Cheer, 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 cheer. I don't know much about um, car dealership, uh, car manufacturers, but I didn't think that UK had any really, really big ones on the same level as... Um, same level as uh, America and Japan and Germany. When I hear people talking about cars, um, I, I very rarely hear them talking about uh, UK built cars. I know that UK does have some um, car manufacturers, but I didn't think it was on the same level anywhere close to it. I say this with value, 100 bits to say, you become a ghost, but you cannot give precise answers in a court case. Phoenix, did you do it, Mia? Ghost Mia, perhaps. <laughs> uh, Bobby Bob emote when asked that space event? Never, no, Bobby Bob doesn't get an emote. Uh, Pucker Starfish is used 333 bits to say, uh, work aya ocean. Sorry, star ocean, there's an emote there. Hope work goes okay, Pucker Starfish. Uh, Key Dude has researched for two months, thank you much, Key Dude. Hope you're well. You don't like cars, but you like Nolan Gear though? I do like Nolan Gear. I do. It's true. Alright, so uh I'm wondering if we can maybe go a little over today and a little over tomorrow and get this case done this week. Uh if we have to go really long tomorrow, then I'm willing to do that as long as I'm awake enough to do that. And I'll see. Um I'll ask Lily if there's anything big that we have to do tomorrow. And if there is, then okay, obviously we can't, but yeah. So let's go. I think we'll go for another two hours now and then we'll um, see if we can finish it tomorrow. One might help clean this place up. December 28, 11, 19 a.m., detention center, visitor's room. Wasn't it? It's been two days? Hmm. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl, such a fabulous understanding of events. Nah, I can't keep that voice up. What's with all this fabulous talk? Whoa! Okay. Welcome to the Queen of Hearts. Welcome to the visitor's room. Alright, I don't think Max can get a- can get a voice. It's Max. Nick, look, it's the real Maximilian Galactica. Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He called me sweetie, swoon, Nick. Ahaha, time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. Th this one. Uh-huh, I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it, he got it. Nick, look, he got it. What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian the Galactica's hearts. One, how many do you have? You Time Lord? Max Swoon. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Eek. I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous, thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe-inducing, I agree. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet, you could forget he was even there. If he wasn't watching everything, he's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. 
What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max. You're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Whimper. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous. I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you... Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? If only I could use magic. Then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. Get straight. Jeez, people nowadays, they get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyways, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did, indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabu fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust, and it was, it was a fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. No magician is modest, it's part of the whole thing. You are signed to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right, you're so right. However, the circus is a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to why I signed the contract. Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old, crusty circus performances obsolete. Yeah, but I kind of like the circus performances. My looks a bit down. With the sickness, tell me what happened at the Berry Big Circus. Ah, uh, last night the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster, you mean Russell Berry? <sighs> Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Lucky for me, it means my contract is now void and I can move on to better things. Even though I was in the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Hey Max, did you do it? Question you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make that make an ant hill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me with me on matters, that's all. Alright. You're gonna have your own police procedural show soon? Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's the hot, serious, no-nonsense detective who solves all the cases, but she needs the help of a wacky magician sidekick. I really like solving murders with you. Tune in every week. <sighs> She's right, I think I should should shock him back to reality. For the murder you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? That's the voice? What voice? For what? For him? What did you talk about the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Y yes. That's all you talked about? Of course. It was a fabulous chat. Nah, I can't keep this voice up. I'm gonna lose it. It's too hard to, to keep on. No way. Just fabulous. I mean, arg. <laughs> now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. 
Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder. What? Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So, I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max, quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um, yes. Poor Q, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me, I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> didn't kill nobody? That means you killed someone. I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane, I, I could never. Max? I swear, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really. Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Y'all sure are nice folks! Um, Max? Gorsh, yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob J J Johns. 118. What's the matter? He's really just a country bumpkin. I am. Um, I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney, yes. A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How do you... How do you... He got it right again. What can I say? You too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm, pulling my, I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. And then everyone hated it. Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. 728, Baby Circus. We're here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. All oh, the birds! It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks, not to mention. Candy and popcorn. They even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around, there's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait a second, there's no syrup though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Whoa. The very big top is so very big. Enormous. I don't know what I did there. Yep, one look at the huge tent looming over you and you realize this is the circus. I know, I know. It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Look, look, it's Max. Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says very big circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cirque du Galactica. The stars on his cheek sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Nah, nah, it's alright. I'm good. Nick, the entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns or elephants, no shows. I know that, Nick. You can get your picture taken with Dally the Elephant. There's no Dally, not today. Dally did it. Oh, well. I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Sorry, it's not like we're here on business or, any or anything. Elephant on the stand. Elephant did it. This is the box office where they sell all the tickets to the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know, I'd never do that to you, Nick. Hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. 
No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually answering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify the question with a response. I bet all the stars stay at the, that lodging house. Those streamers... <laughs> do a nice job introducing the circus performers. Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? You're right, haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that was why. Big top. Summer 28, Lodging House, Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'd rather not be always working. But with crime, you don't make your own hours. Fucking crime. Why is there always gotta be crime? If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. I'm always in a pickle. Dead body. Stage left. Oh damn, that was kind of dramatic for for Gumshoe. Nick, Nick, he complained. Hee <laughs> hee. That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? How's it going, Gumshoe? Do you know who will be the prosecuting court tomorrow? Of course, it will be Miss Von Karma. Now that Chowworth's deed, uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? Of course she is. What do, you, what do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Is that the gumshoe? I'm sure Miss Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Chadworth, of course. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Chadworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? M Mr. Chadworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what, is, what does he mean Mr. Chadworth isn't around? Exactly what he said, he's not around. Chadworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go out, if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you are standing now. Ah. Ho, ho, ho. Surprise you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep. It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But, but, there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Huh, there's, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. His shoes, they're not right. They're clown shoes. What was the one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal, footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture, the crime scene. What's this? There was wooden box under the body. No clue, pal. So, no, he couldn't have been dragged, so otherwise this would be gone. Okay. No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And, and what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo. Where did the killer come from and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. Now he just met, he just made sure to carefully step where the other footprints were. A flying culprit? That's when something just clicked in my head. There's no way, flying is impossible. But spirit channeling, that's right, flying is impossible, absolutely impossible. Ha <laughs> ha. What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better, better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Crime photo added to the court record. 
Every time I hear this music now, I just picture Eni doing the little dance. There's some evidence under that tarp, the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal. The killer is behind that tarp. Ah! Ho ho ho, got ya. I was just kidding. Grr. Ho 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 ho. Alright, so... Dragged here? Like, and then placed? And then the footsteps are like the person walking backwards out of here? Or like the hand slim thing? Hmm. This year I finally won an air conditioner. Won? What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to work too? That's badass. And what do you mean you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things, but I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. It was it was for the evidence raffle. All the evidence from closed cases gets to go back with us. The air conditioner killer. It's it's in my apartment now. Still got some blood on it. The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. Didn't read that right, so they should have been on at the time of the murder. So he's saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange indeed. This is the only place that the snow has been tra tra tranced upon. The murderer was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. Hmm. No, 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 no. We're the ones who left the prints. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whiffed me. Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. I was a lawyer. Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? Well, I do have a Steel Samurai badge with me. How about that one? I'll only wear it if the Detective Gumshoe carries a Steel Samurai Police badge. Then it's a deal. I hear the Detective Gumshoe has, a, has that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Ha, ha, ha. Do, do, do. So it's way, very big circus, big top. Circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grr. Oh shit, it's a lion. Huh, Nick? It wasn't me. Grr. Grr. T -t 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 tiger. He's coming this way. Grr, grr. Ah. We're not going to show it, though. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick. Oh, now we're young. Stay, stay, heal. Grr. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? Aha, scared you, didn't I? Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick, he almost died there. Ha, ah, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. Hardly ever. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. What do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo, your costume. Eh? It's cute, I wanna try it on. Costume? You mean my clothes? 
She's kind of right. You need to get some normal clothes. You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? Eehehe, <laughs> you're the best. Wow, the tables turn quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry. The renowned animal tamer of the big, very big circus. Your Russell's daughter? My name is Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we look really odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. Berry, Big Circus, and Daughter. Yeah, Daughter of Russell Berry. Okay, the remaster. Alright. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, the remaster was your... Yep, the remaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. You seem pretty chipper. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways... Everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? I don't know if it's just the hair, the detail on the hair, the, the forehead or something. Like, I feel, I feel like she doesn't fit the game. Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? Her eyes are huge. I was playing with Regent. Regent, so she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you are an animal tamer. If you say so, that has to be really scary. If you say so, scary, why, huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died... <gasps> Regent, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Damn, I think Regent is the killer. Revenge for Leon. I'm a lawyer. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Alright, I really don't like you. Hey, it's a rope. Probably for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can help us, not a single clue. Yo, I be me to ask you. Excuse me. What exactly do you mean when you say clue? What are you looking for? A bloody chainsaw, for instance. Well, there's definitely not one of those here. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people can fit in the, in the big top. He's right, we can fit 500 people into a show. 500, that's amazing. Flying around above that many people. Flying around above that many people is a real rush. Sorry. At least that's what Max said. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Step ladders get stuck a lot more. Oh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. Much more secure. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. I've got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I peer under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows that you're cute. 
No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Me? Of course. I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. What, what about what about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch. Thanks a lot, Maya. You're cute. No, you're cute. Anything we want to talk to you about? No. Alright. Oh, I thought there'd be like another place to go after this. Really? Can we can we talk to you about the body? Crime photo. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good. Okay, so you have nothing to say about a picture of your dead dad. Alright. Number 28, right in coal offices. All right, we got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking, let's get going. Okay, what's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica, who would have guessed he was a country bumpkin? What do we do? Huh, there's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. We still don't know what happened in the first place. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. I could have sworn I've heard that before. Well, we never have enough, we never have enough information. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happens. All right. All right. So I guess we do this and we break through one lock and then we come back and do the other ones later. Meeting with Russell. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly, we reached an agreement about the salary for my six month old contract. That's the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Well, this guy's fucking dead, so maybe. Jeebus, what's the matter? Sweetie, you must have some wax build up in your ears so you haven't listened to me at all. Huh? You're still not listening, are you? I said I hate I said I hate lies. Alright, so that's it? Nope, I don't. Alright, look at this look at this photograph. That's that's the ringmaster. It's a shame what happened. He was going to be like a father to me. He was going to be. <laughs> All right, so what, are, what did I miss? Okay, what if I present this to you? Nothing? What about... What do, you, what do you think about Max? It's Max. Hey, where is Max now anyways? You don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. What? It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. How do we know that? I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? Giggle. Giggle? What do you think of this dude? What do you think about this person? Sorry, sorry, I've already given my heart to another man, so I'm not interested in enrolling in your dating service. Huh? Just want to know if you knew this person. Alright. What do you think about yourself? Alright, I look so cute in this picture. Don't you think I look cute, don't you, don't you? You sure do! You're fucking cute! No objections here. Russell Berry, the victim and ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Regina Berry's father. After Rentis was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes, that door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm, I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room, it's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. It's 
Summer 28, Big Top Ringmaster's Room. This was the ringmaster's room. Yes, I think it was the ringmaster room. This room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be the where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, this is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm, that's an interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max. I want it, I want it, Nick, I want it. I want to get out of here. Alright, just take it. I won't tell anybody. It's a ta table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes, what is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible. She looks like she's about, about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? That much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago. The ringmaster's paper is added to the court record. Damn, he's going to be able to pay for our services as an attorney. Documents related to Max's salary negotiations. He got an enormous raise one week ago. Hmm... Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyway? Pretty fucking uncouth. Pretty sus, Nick. Pretty sus. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are, there are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, uh, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But but you didn't even notice that I took one. Uh, she already swiped one. Heh, <laughs> heh. You're in incorrigible. You know that? Max G promo po poster added to the court record, emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. We should. Spine tingling legal action, mind numbing legalese. You will say, wow, wow. Or perhaps, hold it, don't miss out on the stunning life or death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. Titanic sank pretty slow, bro. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards. The circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmasters association, mini golf master, beer belly balloon bounce champ, pet grooming grand prix. Damn, look at all these kingdom heart titles. Wow, the ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I can could have never imagined. All these frames look the same. They almost look like thank you cards. It looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. To the Robot Clown Research Center. Oh my god, is there going to be a robot clown? You're kidding, right? What? They may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it is 100% all-natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very metrosexual. What? Eh, this game's kind of old. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. <laughs> Well, you saw this case is great. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. We should take it. It might be a clue. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool. It seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. We can put up pictures of all the clients who have been not found not guilty. And what if we had a client who was found guilty? Nah. Well, we'll just pretend that they didn't exist. How's that? Nick, now you've got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? What if someone is guilty? They, they still need to be like due process defense. Like, that's the whole point. It's just never going to come up. Alright, so what did we just get out of here? We got 
this? Why can't we read it? How is the fucking poster going to be important? Emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols. What? A tiger, something, and the circus? What three famous symbols? Oh, that's a different outfit. That doesn't have the, the Queen of Hearts on it. Peacock feather, because he's a gigantic cock. Uh, Alright. Wait, what do you think about this? What about this? Okay, is there anything else to talk to you about, Gumshoe? No. Alright, what do you think about this? You know I can't tell you two thing can't tell you two anything but the evidence we've gathered. Stingy. Stingy? Useless? When you put it so bluntly, it kinda hurts my feelings, pal. Alright. What do you what do you think about Max? It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. He seemed pretty fucking bad, but just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. Yeah, it's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Can't share it, huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Silk hat adds to the court record, made to order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulousness found at the crime scene. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Alright, so like, he's he's Tuxedo Mask and this is Sailor Moon, is that what this is? Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they are mundane, at least they are easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness! Eh? Tell us about the eyewitness. There's an eyewitness. Eyewitness? You're going down this time, pal. Oh, is that right? She's been practicing a thousand cracks a day, pal. Cracks? Wait, you don't mean cracks of the... Yep. Cracks of the whip. Uh... Gotten affidavits for most of the performers at the circus. There's certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. Well, not stranger, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just messing around. Damn, I've gotten after it. Being a spirit medium is quite an accomplishment, and you're so young too, that's really something. Actually, I've been thinking of taking a break from channeling. Really? I don't want to have another incident like last time. We've only ever channeled two whole people, and I'm, I'm fucking done. The eyewitness. Um, so about the eyewitness. Oh ho ho! What's the ho ho ho? You know I'm not going to tell you about that. You are though. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm, oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. Alright, it must be because that's where the eyewitness is. How is this legal? Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. You can't collect evidence. I have a really bad feeling about this. December 28, lodging house, first floor. Moe's room. I wonder whose room this is. I think it's Moe's room. The name tag on the door says Moe on it. I guess he's not here. What, what are these? Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse though. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. Awesome, look at these shoes. They're great. Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not 
Better not want me to try one of those on. I was seeing you starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office, as soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. Oh, damn. Damn. Is this what is known as flirting? Mo's got an excellent pair of pajamas laid on his bed in an excellent manner. What? Those are pajamas? You mean he gets to, he, go, he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. Alright. Is Mo a clown, or does he just really like clowns? Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies. The joke's on... <laughs> Treat your peons right, and the classic funny jokes are funny. Wow, Mo is very st studious. The joke's on you, huh? Tihi, clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline. They're all, they're all broken. <laughs> very clown sexual of him. <laughs> Good, good, good one. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Who knows with that guy? Maybe that's part of the gag. What the? There's a string of carrots here. How strange. How strange. The carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he's using them for some sort of gag. A line of carrots? Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. You're right. I wonder what happened. Well, I think he bounced on his trampoline, hit his head really, really hard, and because this is cartoon land, he stayed up there for a second on contact, and then he fell really hard down and broke the trampoline, then tripped over, fell on the fucking accordion, and broke that too. You were right. I wonder what happened. Hmm. I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. Do, 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 do. Who hangs up a bunch of carrots? I feel like this is a joke. I don't understand. All right. I think, are we done? What's that? Look through the window. Nick, you can see the scene of the crime from here. You can even tell that the ground has been disturbed. It's right in front of this window, about 30 feet away. I guess it wouldn't have been strange for someone to have seen this crime from here. Okay. Is he on the list? No. Hey, does Hades interest you? Would love to see you play. I played it already on stream. It's pretty good. I liked it. I don't think the streams are anywhere to be found, though, unless I highlighted them. I can't remember. We played it, I think, th uh, three streams or so. Has Maya grown on you yet? A little bit. She's a little bit better, but... Meh. This silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought up the idea for wearing the hat. Huh, really? Yep, he took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. They also made him a clock statue. This, there is only one of these silk hats in the entire world. Isn't that cool? Hmm. Pretty sus, not gonna lie. Pretty fucking sus. Max isn't here. He must be in questioning. Oh, I wanted to see a magic trick. He should be back in a little bit. I guess so. Oh. Is that, is that it? Alright, where are we going? Back to the offices? What, what else is there to do? Okay, I'm really not a fan of you didn't inspect this one pixel in this one room, so now you can't do shit. No, oh, what's on your mind? Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? Giggle, I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah, um, well, mumble, mumble. And she's gonna be like, <gasps> What? Really? You think I'm cute? 
So fucking cute. And then Mumble Mumble. Oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick. There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P -p professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. I mean, if he just turned 21 and she's about to turn 20, 17, but like the way that things work in this game is just kind of off. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? It was Mo. Someone named Trillo. Trillo? Apparently he is a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, I haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. What's the, what's the rule? Half your age plus seven? Is that it? Or is it half your age plus plus eight? What would that put me at? That would put me at... Uh... 24? Right? 17 is half my age, and then plus 7, 24, I think that's too young. I think that doesn't work. I think, I think 24 is too young. Eh. She was just some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding, two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too, she's so cute. Whoop. Giggle. She did it for sure. December 28, very big circus, circus entrance. Huh? Hey Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Hello. Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. What, uh, what, me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, no, I'm just your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus. Don't think so. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. Kind of, it's a coincidence. I am also wearing a gigantic bow tie at the moment. His is smaller than mine, though. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Uh, well, I, um, just happen to be, um, passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some, some kind of carny. Uh, not a c c carny. I, I'm actually a p performer. Actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? Ah, I, I can also talk without moving my, my mouth. He 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 he. I'm Benjamin Woodman. You've been jamming Woodman? Where have you been jamming that wood, man? Your last name is Woodman Snicker. Really? Yes, that's right. But everyone calls me B -b 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 Ben. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Excuse me, Ben. Uh, yes, you mean me? About the murder, I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really, I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't, I don't know. Ah, uh, this guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. There's a lot of characters in this case. Max Galactica. Would you mind telling telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M -m -m Max? He, he, he's n -n 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 not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Gorsh! Maximilian is a celebrity. I'm here to take some photos of him. Snap, snap. Here we go! A darn tootin', you're here! Oh, ow, my head hurts. Yikes, I hope he is okay. I hope it sounds like he just popped a gasket. Ventriloquism. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist. I, I'm just a regular guy. You already told us that you are a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can't help it. He's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I right now my my p p p uh, why? 
or he's cogniferous. Alright, no? Alright, what do you think of I'm a lawyer? Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, um, I, I, I guess we won't need to take a look at this after all. Alright, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Okay, what do you think about this? Okay, I don't even need to show him the hat. What do you think about this? Really? You have nothing to say about Max? Alright, what about this? Alright, what about this? Alright, what about yourself? Alright. Well, this was a fucking waste of time. Yo, bro, what do you know about this? Well, I'm having fun. Why do you guys just, just latch on to this, the stupidest shit I say? <laughs> ah, that guy, his name is Ben, right? Well, I'm having fun. Ha, you don't know him. Say the line, Joe. I don't know, he didn't really catch my eye. He's friends with, with tr is it Trillo or Trilo? Trilo, I think, or Trilo? Trilo, right? Wait, we're the ones asking the questions. Is Trilo the puppet? Did the puppet profess his love for you? Can he only talk through the puppet? When he has the puppet, does he change into a different person? Does he turn into like fucking candlestick Jack when he has the puppet? Like, I have the puppet now. Rah, tongues out, like, around here. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, the puppet killed him. Oh my god, the puppet killed him. Oh no. Oh no, December. T oh no, Kablamo. I don't think I can do a clown voice. <laughs> Congratulations! You're the big wiener. No, I can't do it. No, the 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 one millionth visitor to the room of the one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me. Earplugs must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one. Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> well, I'm having fun. I welched on giving you more than one. Um, no, no, no. If it was fun, it sounded like old man from from the kid, from old man kid <laughs> persona. I think I've actually run out of voices. If it was funny, it is your duty as a human being to laugh. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in Land Sing. Catch my drift? What? <laughs> um, Maya. <laughs> it's like some Faustian nightmare. Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. <laughs> in my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have a great taste in clothes, girly. Look at that garb. You look like Greta Garb. Oh, <laughs> so I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Whoa, what's wrong with laughing at your own jokes? Okay, okay, I get it, but you have to admit he is kind of funny. Uh, I do not have to admit that because he isn't. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? Could you please tell us more about the very big circus? It's a very big story. You sure you got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming, Sigh. This circus has been in business for 20 years. We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. 20 years, wow. Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's... <laughs> there is just too much competition. But, but, I love the circus and bowling. I love it too. That is why I've been here for 20 years. We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. 
Nick, he just made a joke. Laugh. <laughs> the ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew that I had a family to care, to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I went to the doctor the other day and I said, Doctor, I'm feeling really down and depressed. Is there anything you can do for me? Easy, the doctor says. The great clown Moe is in town. Go see him and he'll perk you right up. But doctor, I am Moe. Yes, <laughs> I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Moe. Widgety, widgety, widgety what? Ugh. I'm s I'm sorry, Moe. Nick was born without a sense of humor, it's true. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ah, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected. This guy's the eyewitness of the, to the crime. God, is he gonna show up in the clown outfit? Of course he's- of course he's- of course he's- of course he's gonna show up with the clown outfit tomorrow. Of course he is! The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? A bit long in the tooth. But that make-believer takes things too far. Make-believer? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those funny types, right? That Darren Brown motherfucker. What does he mean, one of those? While well, the joke's on him now. <laughs> yep, he got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Go ahead. Nope, no way, just forget I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. You say you saw the crime, do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details, but only if you can get old Stiff Lips here to make with the funny. Stiff Lips? Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. Ahem, ahem. What's the matter? Just getting ready. Alright, here, let's bust out the dad joke book. Here we go. Alright, here we go. A termite walks into a bar and asks, Is the bartender here? <laughs> Dad, how much should I sell my dead batteries for? How about free of charge? Dad, why did you say you slept like a log last night? Because I woke up in the fireplace. What? That, that's not even a joke. Dad, mom says she's not cooking dinner because she's revolting. Well, you're pretty revulsive, repulsive yourself. <laughs> These are terrible. In many ways, my step ladder feels more like my real ladder. <laughs> this is the worst joke. This is the worst fucking book. Just getting ready, okay? Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Yeesh, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than chuckle, Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. 
I'm sorry, he's incapable of being funny, Mo. Not funny. Didn't laugh. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw the biggest, most awful. Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. No, it was just the hat and the cloak held up by some strings. Like a like uh, like someone operating a puppet. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he is letting on. All right, what do you think about this? I'm a lawyer. What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you want. Are you a robot, by the way, or a real person? When when oh shit! I think that's enough advice for now. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. What do you think about this hat? It's that uppity faker's uppity top hat. They found this at the scene of the crime, didn't they? That's what I've been told. Unbelievable! That jerk killed the ringmaster. It really is a shame what happened to the ringmaster, huh, Mo? It seems that the ringmaster was truly a great man. No. Russell, how could anyone do this to you? I, I, sobs. Mo's taking this really hard. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog music. Humph, if he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's it's only just that he should die. What? If he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only oh just like just just that he should die too. Moe. Sorry, I crossed the line, but he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. How I got these uh, the morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clunked Ben right over the head as hard as he could. Ben, the ventriloquist with the speech impediment. You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourself. Oh no, not the cafeteria. The cafeteria. Let's say there's there's gotta be something interesting there. <laughs> Oh, yes. The Berry Big Circus is very big, isn't it? Welcome to the Circus of Values. You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. Oh, I kill myself, really. I'm dying here. Coronary, coronary. Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Damn, imagine doing that. A map of the Berry Big Circus. All right, what do you think of her? That's the ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese, that Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Lorena? Ah, uh, Lorena is my daughter. She lives with her mother now. I'm not surprised. It's true what they say about the tears of a clown. I've been friends with Russell since even before the circus began. He was so selfless. He always thought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He always took such good good care of me. I wish I would have thanked him more than I did. Aww. Ah, Ben, how's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right. Boy, was I surprised when they told me his secret. He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be. <laughs> Just kidding. Ben wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, that's a simple problem to solve. He won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet Trilo. Trilo? If Ben doesn't have his, his ven ventriloquist. So he's a ventriloquist? Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, that's the worst one yet. Oh my god. That's the worst one. You'll barely get a word out of him. Really? Huh, master and puppet. Or maybe the roles are reversed. Ah! What's the matter? Whenever I see my own nose, I'm reminded of my Italian heritage. Oh shit! Ah, I see. It must be because you have one of those Roman noses roaming all over your face. 
I didn't cross the line there, did I? You went so far past it, you'll need a map to get back. Oh, I thought he was gonna laugh. Carrots are one of my trademark props. Yep, I saw you use them. You must believe in a carrot and no stick approach. You put the carrot out in front for motivation, but I guess the trick is gauging what flavor you want each want each day. Exactly, you were really paying attention, weren't you? You know, I eat about five of those carrots every single day. If you eat that many, you've got to change up the taste every now and again. That's how I was such a good witness for the murder. I eat so many carrots, I have excellent night vision. I didn't understand any of that, nor do I ever want to. What's this? A banana peel? You already knew about it! <laughs> oh my, oh my, what a wonderful fall, girly! You should remember that when you see a banana peel, get ready to fall down. That is one of the, the basic tenets of clownsmanship. Ow, 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 ow. Every night I fall down 100 times to practice the pop proper banana peel break fall. Whoa. 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 All right, 97 to go. Wow, he really is a pro, huh, Nick? His falls are totally different than my slip. I look awfully snazzy in these costumes. Um, did you just use the word snazzy in a sentence? I sure did. These are hot couture from the best international clown designers. At least, that's what they said on the TV shopping channel I use. I like having a big collection so I can match my costume to my mood and my carrot. Hee <laughs> hee. You know, I only own one t-shirt. The rest are all clown costumes. Snazzy dresser. More like spazzy dresser if you ask me. Oh! Boom. The defense is on fire today. Oh, yes. Yeah, very good. Mo, you've got quite a collection of pajamas. They really scream out at you. you all, all your things look like pajamas. You think they're loud, huh? I kind of thought they were something. You know, a bit too adult for me to use on stage. That's why I use them as pajamas. Wait a second. He sleeps in clown costumes? Of course he does. Us clowns really take our work seriously. I try to hone my craft day and night with the latest ingester technology. He's he's like the, the the bride from Kill Bill. When he takes the clown the costume off, that's when he's in disguise. Unicycles, trampolines, balancing balls, accordions. It looks like you've put quite a bit of wear and tear on that equipment. Well, the theme of my act as a clown is... How many ways can a fat guy... <laughs> That funny guy fall down. I don't care what I break or how I break it as long as it ends with me on my bum. <laughs> Take a look at my desk. Aren't I the most studious clown you've ever seen? Every free moment I have, I spend on studying or reading. The classic pull my finger or clown car maintenance and repair. Not to mention the bestseller Jean-Luc de Ledoux's Guide... Ledux? Ledoux's Guide to Obnoxious French per Parrots. Um, they all seem to cover rather basic topics though. Really? Maybe he's just trying to cover all the bases. Exactly. I want to be a, rena a renaissance clown. Too bad he didn't buy How to Be a Funny Clown. Oh, snap! There's a hole in the ceiling. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Well, um, I was riding a pogo stick and I guess I did- I just overdid it a little. Overdid it a little? What can I say? Sometimes things get a bit crazy in one's college days. Huh? All right, well, I'm glad that's over. All right, is the voice really annoying? Should I stop it or keep it going? Hey, Ben Triloquist. That's Mo. He's such a funny clown. He's been a good friend to my dad for a really long time now. He was good friends with the ringmaster? My dad always said, when it comes to who I can entrust as the circus to, it's definitely Mo. If something stinks, it's the butts. Hmm. Yep, that clown is one lovable stooge. Don't you think so, Nick? Um, no comment. Whoa, what happened here? Ew, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me, what was that Mo 
was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning, Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's got to be something interesting there. Nick, what's got to be interesting? Don't ask. Humph. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something. Juice bottle? Uh, watch out, Nick. There's broken glass all over the floor. Hmm, a broken bottle just lying on the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? Broken bottle added to the, 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 the truth bullet. Hmm, there's got to there's gotta be something interesting here. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet with him. Him? Broken bottle adds to the court record. Looks like they've left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm. Looking at all these dishes making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside once we finish with the case. All right, then let's get this over with. Nick, here we go. Whoa, where's the mute button when you need it? Do, 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 do. T-bone steaks, the chair's been knocked over. That's what it looks like. How's it going, Lily Bell? Almost looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self-defense. Or maybe a regent just likes to eat his dinner in the cafeteria. Ah, bulletin board for, um, bulletins. It doesn't look like there are any useful clues posted here. Boring. Maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy? You know, like a fake clue. Hmm, maybe something like message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. Wow, fucking mastermind over here. Keep our cafeteria clean. Doesn't seem like anyone ever read this sign, huh? Maybe this should make it easier to understand. Clean it or die. Whoa. Well, that would definitely make them clean up. There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know, I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for them. Why do we have to clean it up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one because one bears repeating. But, but this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Rawr! You know, I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. Yeah, it's in, it's in our character sheet. Hates dirty cafeterias. This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here. Max is written on it. It must be his VIP table. Isn't a bit small to be a VIP table. You won't be putting a 10-course meal on this. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? This is true. The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. Maya's killer hamburger. You'd try it, wouldn't you? Why is she being all feisty all of a sudden? What do you know about this? What do you think about this? Alright, so we have to take it back to Max. I thought we were taking it back to him. Hey, what do you think about this? Okay, just in case, is it you? Would you want to take a look at this? Uh, um, I... Yeah, not. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, do you, are you, you don't talk about anything, but you want to talk about Mo? Nope. December 28. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the, deten the detention center. Sigh. Do you just call me his sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fantabuloso. I mean, fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. What's what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay, then, Max, let's make this absolutely fabulous. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Apparently you're a huge dick. Ah, uh, you must be in front of the dinosaurs. How are those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie. That's what they call jealousy. Jealousy. They are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fab fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. 
people who really understand. For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm, so Regina understands him, huh? I plan on getting married to her. She truly is my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Oh? That's strange. Regina never said anything about actually marrying this joker. You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice, I went to his room right after you finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? Oh. Mm -hmm. It's alright. I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. And then I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where his where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. I have no I have no idea what he went off to do. about this? Fabulous, you'd like me to sign this for you. Okay, I thought we were gonna present this to somebody, but I guess not. Alright, so what do you think of, uh, of, um, of the Ringmaster? Just between you and I, he wasn't a bad guy at all. I can say that for sure. That's the first time I've ever heard you say something nice about someone, Max. He must have been a really nice guy. I can't believe a guy with that ugly mug is after my sweetie pie princess, especially after she has eluded my charms for such a long time. There isn't much you can do about that, right? Humph. You haven't even been truly even been truly in love, have you? Um, when you are truly in love with someone, you'd be jealous of their mirror just bec because it traps their image inside. Aw, uh, don't you think that's sweet of him, Nick? I mean, it's like fucking really obsessive. I'm going to get back with my sweetie pie. Then I'm going to turn that dumb puppet into a toy glider. I guess you two haven't worked out your differences yet. But with this person, fortunately, I don't take on apprentices. I mean, just look at the face on this one. It's not what I would call fabulous. That's awfully harsh. All right. Did we ask you about Regina? Ah, my sweetie pie. She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She is my special someone, and I am her special someone. Uh-huh. Very complex. All right. What do you think about yourself? Do you want to take a look at this? I guess I have no choice. But really, is this the proper time or place for this? He signed his own photo. Nick, you might give me that to me when the case is over. Meeting with Russell. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month contract. That's the truth, the whole truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your salary? Hate lies. Okay, so um, this says it was a, a one week ago. Th th that's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation. It's just that the date... This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F -f -f fabulous Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? What? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie, that's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. Well, not if I don't have to. You have to! Isn't this why the ringmaster called you to his room that night? The poster? You had a fight with somebody, I guess. I mean, it can't be, hey, where'd you get that cool hat? We need to change your image. I, I guess it has to be you had a fight with somebody. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? W where did you get that? The cafeteria, but you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, of course. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max, what is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle too. What? Okay, to hit somebody? To hit to hit Ben? I mean, Ben is your rival because because Ben likes Regina, right? 
So it has to be Ben. But Ben. <laughs> you nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? But Ben didn't have a have a, a head wound or anything. Oh no, wait a minute. He hit the puppet, didn't he? He hit the puppet. <sighs> and that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous, you might as well be a magician. Truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you win why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Thirty-one. Sixteen. But how old's the puppet? Maybe that's fine. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure this is the Ben? This is Ben we're talking about. All I can say is that he made me mad, and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. Yeah, okay. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie and no one else's. Hmm, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Shut him up? Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trillo can't say a word, not without Ben. Trillo? The puppet, the ventriloquist's puppet. His real name is Trillo Quist. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hid it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the, at the balsa, I'd be screwed. You hid him? You mean the ventriloquist's puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What, sweetie? You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous, that should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem, none at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in the jam. Then don't go hiding puppets. Oh my god. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. Damn, this is intense. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress, but everyone loved the ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints in, on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course, and now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Okay. How was he killed? Do we know? Is there an autopsy? No. Probably out of date anyway. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just stop, you poster pilferer? I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of those these posters. You mean, stole one of those posters. Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said that he hid Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Alright, it must be behind the desk. This is strange, everything else looks like the desk to really photo on the desk picture. No, okay, over here. Scrub my paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? What where? Calm down, my can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Alright. Over here. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at the awards circuses one. Like all candy quiz. Okay, beer. Wow. Okay. Hmm. There's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... That's Trillo. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll have to give it back to him later. Trillo Quist handed it over to Maya. A ventriloquist's puppet. An operatic tenor who double... Ten... Tenor? Tenor? 
who doubles as Ben's sidekick. Why do I have to carry this thing? Because you're the sidekick to me. So there we go. All right. Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, um, uh, hello. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah I do, do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. What happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. I, 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 uh, I, uh, do you know anything? I, I don't know a, th a thing. Well, 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 I don't know. All right. You've been in the circus a long time, haven't you, Ben? Yes, about f four years. I gotta admit, I'm kind of interested in this place as well. Mo is so funny, and Max is so relaxing. Not to mention Regina being the cutest little thing I've ever seen. All right. Regina, I, um, don't really like her t too much. Um, are you sure about that? Um, that's odd. Max said something about a confession of love. Yeah, okay, the puppet has its own thing. Here, it's your fucking puppet back. Here we go, time to go crazy. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Yes, that's mine. Here you go, Triloquist returned to Ben. All right, time to go full Nagito. All right. <laughs> hope, hope, Hajime. All right, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Okay. So, Nick, where are we going? Let's see. Maybe... Hey, wait. Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. What's your problem, anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I would never. It was me. Yeah, me. Down here. You, your Trillo? That is Mr. Quist to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blur out my name. Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again, sigh. Mr. Quist, is that better? No, look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trillo, we talked about insulting people, you promised. But he was mocking me, not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick, what just happened? Trillo's still a puppet, right? And then Trillo puts his puppet- Hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? Oh my god. Oh my god, what happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. It was me! You talking to me? I said you talking to me! Don't look at him when you're talking to me! Triloquist, do you believe you behave, young man? Shut up, Woody! What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trill, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Are you trying to steal your griffin? I was trying to do Stewie Griffin! Good job. Well done for noticing my shitty accent. I was trying to do Stewie Griffin. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll talk. Gramps Scott clob it over the head. Holy shit, that was nothing like Stewie. But someone noticed! So I think objection, objection. Let me lay it out for you. The pace sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner, you mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will ya? Just, just another one of the dorks around here. Try doing a New York accent? I don't know how to do a New York accent. Oh my! What's what's it? What's something that New Yorkers say? Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. But I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage, masquerading as performers. No, I don't know what that is. But that's not New York. I found my Madonna. Your Madonna, Regina, my lovely Regina. She is stunning, right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You have to excuse him. He does excuse him. Excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty. Hence, why I shall marry her. M -m -m marry. Did 
The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by by that fr flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica, why do you say that? Trillo, straighten up, don't accuse people like that. Straighten up, I'm made of wood. Besides, you were there, you know what happens. You were there. Hee <laughs> hee, if you're that interested, then I'll tell you, let you in on the facts. Alright. You, you're going to marry Regina? That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed troubled. Well, she... I don't care. It is my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. Oh, God. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. Tenor? You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. Well, um, the melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the oddest here. Um, uh, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, butt face. Ah. You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? <laughs> You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Tr Trillo? Enough jibba jabba, let's get to court already. Ah, <sighs> uh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Uh... Hmm. What in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair- Oh no. Oh no, now what? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait for the monkey to go on the stand. Hey, welcome back, Nick. That monkey. Ah, uh, my badge. Oh no, now the monkey's a lawyer. That monkey stole it. What? Hee hee hee. Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute, you look so completely dumbfounded. Regina! You, that monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, but, my attorney's badge. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so, if I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? By the way, this is true. The monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is... All right, let it out, chat. Go for it. You have 10 seconds. All right, there you go. The monkey is called Money. Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do, even if I have money problems. Eh? Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Haha, -ha, that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I just have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. How is this still going, huh? You don't know? Well, Money isn't exactly someone I am on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Mo's. Hmm. I guess this, it, it is time that I re revisit that kooky clown. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo at told me he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. No. But what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. 
Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope, that won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trilla both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to, to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly, so I guess Trilla hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go with, go for? Max or Trillo? Wait, wait. You do realize that Trillo is a puppet? Uh, I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. Huh? This is the gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops get lonely and headed back to the got lonely and headed back to the precinct for some coffee. The ringmaster's body was found here. I heard the way he fell over the maiden looked like he was carrying a wooden box. But what in the world really happened here? I mean, if a monkey was wearing shoes. You wouldn't know from the prints. Or if someone had shoes on their hands. It is a circus. This is the condenser for the air conditioner. It hasn't been used in a while. What? How'd you figure that out? You're not making things up now, are you? Hold your hold your horses. It was easy to figure out. It was snowing before the murder, right? Well, look at the condenser. The snow is just still piled on top of it. Wow, Nick, I'm impressed. Maybe you should be a PI instead of an attorney. Wow. Something's covered up by this tarp, an old sign perhaps. Nick, look out! They've got the killer trapped behind that tarp. What? It wasn't funny? You know, it wouldn't have hurt you to look even a little bit surprised. Phew, she didn't notice I was too scared to talk. Really? The safety light was on at the time of the murder, wasn't it? A safety light? That's what they say. There were performers in the lodging house, so it makes sense that it was on. I bet the killer was worried that someone would spot them during the crime. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the time! <laughs> it's alright to be wrong every now and then, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Do you, did you? I can't remember how to do his voice now. Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? It's like Nagito now. Pull up a chair, <laughs> or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? <laughs> How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> so, about Regina. Regina is such a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in the circus, you know? But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She seems she sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is that all that all seems normal to her because it is her everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist's puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply without complications. Money the monkey. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Eh, why's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? <laughs> exactly. Bravo, bravo. Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Hmm, should we go with him now or wait a while? Let's go let's go with Mo. Let's go. Go with Mo. Is this another fucking character? December 28th, lodging out. Huff, huff. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only have to climb two flights of stairs. Pant, pant. Or anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today, squirrel. Eh, that's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there, too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. See you later. 
Money the monkey. Okay, so what shiny object did he steal that was important? Money must use this to swing around on. Go ahead, Nick. I know you want to ride on it too. Maybe later. Holy cow, there's a fork and a mirror, everything shiny. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's a trophy and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it, your badge, it's right here next to this clock shaped like a man sitting on a chair. Attorney's badge, return to the right, it's right spot on Lapple. Thanks, you really saved me, huh? What's the matter, did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring, there's something engraved on it from T to R. Oh man, who could that be? A cheap ring from an eerie, a cheap ring and an eerie sparkle from T to R is engraved on it. Well, I think it's about time to wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got our magician on our side. That's good because we might need some magic tomorrow. With a wave of my hands, I'll make these allegations disappear. Oh, yes, well, well, very good. Mr. Wright, what do you think? Not guilty. You fucking idiot, Judge. You fucking idiot. It's number 29, 9.43 a.m. All right, so we're at four hours and 25 minutes uh, and we're about to go into the court thing. I think we should probably, um, probably stop here. All right, T to R, it seems like clear that that would be Trillo to Regina, but is there someone else named T? Maybe it was uh, Mo to, to 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 Russell. <sighs> I am really tired lately. Holy crap! Joe's Rantness used 100 bits to say, every time you don't understand the name Puckered Starfish, I laugh a little harder. You you think I don't understand it, really? Hmm, I'm just being polite. Thank, thank you, Joe's Rantness. Uh, Isolate Spaceman used some more bits to say, uh, Bobby Bobby Bob Johns. Puckered Starfish has used 100 bits to say, is this how you read to your kids, grr, grr, rawr, such enthusiasm? No, no. Only you guys get that. Feel special. Um, thank you, Bad... Badmeister, I think Badmeister, for the 14 with reset. Thank you very much. Uh, Onto's Fire has resubscribed for two months. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Thank you very much. Mediocre Pixel has resubscribed for 22 months. Thank you very much, Mediocre Pixel. Bouncy Bob, he's using 100 bits to say, not all Bobs. No, the horse's house collapsed. It wasn't very stable. <laughs> Asphaltless Tezel used some bits to say, are you reading from unfunny jokes or funny? Yeah, it wasn't a very good book, was it, at all? Uh, there's still so many jokes left in it, too. Toxel has gifted a sub to Mo the Clown. Wow. Was that already an account, or did Mo, Mo the Clown join? Mo the Clown. It is Mo, right? Not Moe? It's gotta be Mo. Asphaltus also says you should be in New York Orchestra. Yeah, yeah, my New York accent is pristine. It's so cool. I'll never be able to do it again. <laughs> Uh, also 1000 has a uh, recent subscribe for nine months with a message. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Also 1000. Cool. 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 Oh uh, no. He's pretty mo -y, Exactly. Mo anime, mo problems, right? Okay. There are two fan arts. Let me put them on the screen and that'll be, uh, the end. Ooh, one's a one's a GIF. Fancy. Fancy, fancy.
I think Italian vampires are just assumed to be hot. If you just close your eyes and imagine an Italian vampire. I made this, says Tell69. Okay. <laughs> That's a hot vampire. It's true. It's true. Did everyone picture Mario? That's a hot vampire. Oh, he's he's embarrassed. A little blushy crushy about the the uh, the hot vampire. Thank you, uh, Tell69, and this is a gift from Press Press2, posted by Shibabra. Press2. <laughs> Her eyes are freakishly too far apart on that angle. <sighs> Don't you think? Squidward, try to imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> Don't be it. <laughs> Do you know I've I've uh I've never watched um, any SpongeBob SquarePants ever. I've never seen an episode, uh, like I've seen bits and pieces here and there, but I've never seen um, an episode. The most I've ever seen of SpongeBob SquarePants is like maybe maybe half an episode. And um, it kind of spooked me a little bit because it was, I think it was SpongeBob SquarePants. It was this episode where um, they were seeing things in the dark and then it, it like, the, that that's not a monster. That's just a pile of clothes. That's not a monster. That's just a this, this thing uh, like the, the a coat hanger or whatever. And then when that's not a monster, that's just Nosferatu. And then it just cuts like this like fucking like scary Nosferatu person. And it's like Nosferatu or something like that. And I don't know. It kind of spooked me. You know, it was like I didn't I wasn't expecting like live action fucking Nosferatu to show up on on the uh, on the screen. Is that Spongebob? Am I, am I thinking right? I think that was a long time ago I saw that. That might have been like 15 years ago or something that, that I saw that scene. So if I can remember that properly, I'd, I'd be okay. Uh, let's talk about TV for a little bit um, before I go. So I've been watching some, some TV lately. Uh, I just started Mr. Robot and I'm really, really enjoying Mr. Robot. Uh, I finished The Expanse, what's what's around, around, available The Expanse. And um, season four is a bit disappointing, <clears throat> I gotta say. Like, I really loved uh, season one, two, and three, and then season four comes along, and I don't know, it just kind of, like, the, the first half was a bit dull and boring, and the second half picked up a bit, but, um, like, I was a bit disappointed in, in Expanse season four. Uh, I'm gonna get the books and read them and see. Uh, I watched Community a while ago. Community was really, really great. I highly recommend Community. Um, I saw season one of The Boys. I feel like I watched something else, too. What else did I watch? I haven't watched season two of, of The Boys yet. I'm going to wait for it all to be available so I don't end up, um, you know, uh, writing a horrible review of it. Um, Community was great until season four. Do you think so? Like, I know everyone said, because because uh, the creator was gone for a year. I thought that season was all right. I think the worst season of Community is actually the first season. I think season one of Community is the worst one. 
the end of season one of Community was um was pretty good, but like uh, until that, I, I thought that the show was kind of kind of bland and kind of just like meh, and I kept with it. So I would put like the first like twenty episodes of season one is the worst. Then then the end of season one is, it gets good. Uh, after like the the chicken nugget episode, I think that's um or the chicken tenders episode, I think that's when season one finally gets good. Uh, and then the rest of like I don't know like season two and three were definitely the best I think. And then season four whatever it was 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 decent. And then like a couple characters leave and it kind of goes downhill. But I like the new characters they introduced. I really like uh, Keith David's character. I really liked um uh the the formal uh uh woman that comes along in the last season i think i liked her a lot she was like introduced kind of like older annie and then and then it got more uh it got interesting yeah community was pretty good i say space man 100 bits thanks for nightmare fuel you're very welcome i say space man ralph has you 100 bits to say uh i'm not sure i could ever be as good as as mo the clown he has big shoes to fill nice 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 frankie that's it thank you thank you I like that when um, like community can hit hard on some some emotional cues. You know, it's not just funny. Like I my my theory about media is that um, if if you want to hit hard on certain levels, you need to be you need to go the opposite. You need the contrast. That uh, funny shows, comedies can hit really really hard with dramatic moments out of nowhere, and dramatic shows can hit really really hard with funny moments out of nowhere. I really like I really like the contrast of what bo both they can do. Like. Like, um, like I think with a funny show, I'll laugh more, but I'll laugh harder at a drama suddenly doing a joke. And just like when it comes to a dramatic show, like I'll be more invested and emotionally connected for more, but I'll be even, I'll have a stronger connection when a funny show like makes the characters endearing and then hits suddenly really hard with just a, like, boom, like that. That's why, that's why I like, fuck you, Merrick. <laughs> This is why loss was a cultural milestone. Fuck you, Mary. <laughs> I feel like there was another show I watched recently, and I can't remember what it was now. Fuck. Anyway, so I'm watching Mr. Robot, and I love it so far. I'm only four episodes in. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. So, uh, I'll, I'll watch it slowly and I'll report back. There's something else I watched. Fuck. I watched Dark. I think, maybe I'm thinking of Dark. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably finish this case tomorrow if we can. We might go two hours over tomorrow to finish it. And then, um, hopefully we'll finish Ace Attorney 2 next week. But maybe not. We have, like, what, four, case four and five? Uh, it'll probably be halfway through the week after that. So, maybe if we finish it in the middle of the week, we'll take some time off. Or we'll play, like, a different game. Like, we'll play Hades or try Spelunky 2 or something uh, for t a stream or two. And then we'll, we'll start Yakuza on a Tuesday. So, yeah. There's only four cases? I thought there were five cases in each game. Oh. Are there five cases in the third game? No, five was DLC. Yeah, I thought that five, five, case five was added to Ace Attorney 1 to make it even to the other ones, but no? So it goes four plus one with DLC, then four, then five? Oh, okay. I thought the DLC case was added. Why did they go back and do that then? That's kind of weird. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. See you guys later. Have a good night. Thank you for uh, coming by on the stream. Loss is a cultural milestone. God damn it.